Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Moshi, Moshi. What's happening? Hello? So, how's everybody doing today? Very good, very good. Sure, I'm sure I am. Can we do uh, turn orders, please? Ah, uh, yes. There it is. I'll do it three times. One. Two, three. Uh, looks like there wasn't actually that much change from the original. Well, the idea is uh, you have to do it to know what hand to keep. So you have to I know, I know. It. Keep this hand. I, I don't think I can. Yeah, I need a, I need a mulligan. Always five. Why am I always five? and shit all day until I put my camera up. That's how it be, dude. Uh, I should have kept the first one. That second one didn't even have lands in it. Ouch, you. Boy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got almost all. Shit on my sleeve so I don't get good shot. <laughs> Alright, this is also a bad hand, but I'm just. I already have to put a card back, so I'm just gonna keep it. Have a hand we're keeping. Yeah. Yep, right. go ahead. Draw turn. Play a swamp, and I will pass. 
Uh, on top of roll, uh, I will play a steam vents tap. And I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna put a forest and a soul ring. Turn one soul ring, and that turn one soul ring will tap and turn into a. Nothing. I passed. <laughs> oh. So it's untapped. Well, now nah, I tapped it. Okay. For the That's scenario. unfortunate. I pass. <laughs> Why did it not come on? More cheese. Go off turn. Get this nifty little swamp. Not pass. Uh, until up here. Uh, I will play a mountain into arcane signet. I know. Draw one card. I'm gonna play a planes. Tap that planes to play a Leon and Elder. If an uh, artifact comes into play, I get to gain one life. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. Then I pass. Okay. Why am I only drawing my high CMC stuff and not any lands? Pass. Mm. I, I really should have just done the more aggressive ball again instead of hoping I would draw a land. You, I need a blue. Uh, uh okay. One second. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I'll play an island. Uh, I will play an Urza. Uh, any responses? If not, I'll play mm -hmm. a touch. He is a 2 2 currently. Uh, we're and going, I will pass. We're going, we're going this route. Go ahead, John. Uh, an artifact just came into play, so I gain a lot. We will be playing a swamp for turn. And then I'm gonna tap this, this, and this for Bilbo Baggins' birthday celebrant. Okay. Um, and then I am going to tap one, two from the soul ring, and I'm gonna play a Wayfarer's Bump, which then triggers the Elder to give me a life, but Bilbo makes it one more life, so that's two. Then I pass turn. Okay. Come on. I move to discard. Morbid curiosity. Seriously? Yeah. I uh, this doesn't <laughs> normally happen. I can oh. normally take an aggressive hand or uh, not an aggressive hand. I can normally take a risky one and not. If 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 it's cool with everyone else. I, when, at my LGS, when this happens to a player, like, more than two turns in a row, we just let, like, instead of just discarding, I, it, like, just go fetch for a freaking land from your deck. I, I mean, in my opinion, I decide to keep this hand. I shouldn't then... So, now you're dealing with the consequences. Okay. Yeah. Too sure, too clear. Okay. Respectable. Spot. Respectable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to discard as well and pass. No, oh, no. Untapped. How many did all of you guys uh, mulligan down a five or six? No, I, I kept a seven. Uh, I'll play a land. I kept three turn. lands. Uh, I will hard cast a mold drifter. Who are you? Uh, I'll draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. Um. I go to combat. I'll hit uh, Marchesa for two. That's what I like to hear. All right, I'll pass. I hear smacking bitches. I'm gonna play a Scoured Baron. It comes in tap, but it does give me a life when it comes into play. So I get another one. Okay. Um, and then I am going to tap a plane and play a Hyena Umbra, which is a totem armor aura enchantment, giving Bilbo first strike. 1-1 one, one, and put them on her. Okay. Um, then I'm going to spend two man hairs from the soul ring to pop the bobble to go search for a basic clan and put it in that attack. Let's go back to the first one. I see the two bad planes. Already, all right, all right, already. And then for two mana, I'm gonna drop Steve. Okay. Sakura, Sakura Trub Elder. And that is my turn. Okay. Land. Unfortunately, not. Soaring. Nope. Even that would be well enough. Even the cat. I even the cat discard. Land. Draw. Okay. I swear to God, any? somehow in that shuffle, I put my lands at the bottom and my five drops on top. Jesus. I'm gonna just play two to get it out there. A goblin bombardment. Uh, sure. uh, hey, uh, Johnny, does uh, Bilbo have hexproof or like shroud? He has totem armor, but no okay. hexproof, no shroud, no. I will play a uh, mountain for turn. Uh, I will tap. This is one blue, two blue, this is four blue, and a red. I'm going to attempt to cast and invoke the winds on uh, Bilbo. What does it do? Uh, gain control of target artifact or creature, untap it. Enjoy Bilbo. All right, cool. I'm going to get a Bilbo. Uh, it is a three, four. Three, four. And I can do two like... absent. Okay. I, I don't think I can come up with absent in this game. Uh, so two, three, four. Uh, I'll find a little. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll go to combat. I'll swing. You could block with Steve. I mean, uh, I was going two two in the air and uh, and a and a one four at Johnny. I lose two. I block with Steve. Crack Steve. Yep. And then after I'll pass. All right. Now you're just gonna steal my Bilbo. That's bull. That's that's fucked up. Uh, alrighty, draw a card. All right. Um, 
Hey, Sovereign Dash, if I help you out, you promise to smack thick as soon as you can? Uh, I'm gonna play. I mean, this deck doesn't do much smacking, but sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap two to play a Howling Mine. Every player draws an additional card. Nice. Alright, nice. There you, there you go, boys. There you go. <laughs> that, that does trigger my Elder to get one life. I'm gonna be dropping a Planes Return. And then I am going to be playing everyone's favorite card. Oh no. Day of Judgment. Destroy all creatures. Uh, Alright. Man, 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 you really fuck me up. Sh sure, 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 sure. Bilbo dies. Yeah, nobody, nobody steals Bilbo. Oh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I didn't really lose. So, life. you actually, ironically, you do keep, keep Bilbo, because he has totem armor oh, so this aura nice. dies so you still have Holy possession shit. of him wow. but I'm... every other creature is okay that's dope, that's dope. thanks for worth. being fair about it because I, I had no idea it was still worth it it was still worth it uh, <laughs> yeah the totem, the totem, die totem well. them, sold them. yeah and the elders die everything's dead that's still on your board technically did, they, they uh, did you did you did you steal him permanently or just until the end of your turn? Uh, it's permanent. Is that not an aura? No, it's no, a sorcery. It's a sorcery that says you gain control of target artifact or creature. Untap. Damn, that's cray cray. All right, that's this yeah, is I mean, one dollar. It is, $1. It is what $1. it is. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm just simply gonna play a pristine talisman, which right. I should have played before the elder died. So let's pretend like I did play that before. I had day of judgment, so I'm gonna gain life. Ha! Fuck you guys. And then I'm gonna <laughs> tap it and get another life. There we go. That's my turn. Okay. Draw two because of howling mine. All right. There you go. Let's get it. Play swamp. Let's go. Hey, two mana. Out here. Bitter blossom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get. I don't have to discard this time. I still pass. Hey, it's better than nothing. And let me see if I can find where I put the token for two, that. That's two, one. That's two. None of that shit works, man. <laughs> uh, fuck. No. I'm going to... Fuck, man. I'm gonna pay two to play a golem piece. And then I'll pass. I can tap up here. And then I go this card. Okay. Uh, let's do something fun. I will play a mountain return. Uh, this card counts though. Damn. All right, I'm gonna pay. This is double reds, and then three, four, five mana, at least triple red for a possibility storm. What the fuck is that? Okay, so so just, I mean, you uh... guys can click on that. Yeah, it's clickable. Go ahead. Whatever we try to cast, instead we flip from the top until we hit a card that shares a cut hand, type. Your hand. Yeah, whenever when we cast from cast our hand. hand. Yes. So if you if you do like an underworld breach or you or you cast your commander, it's fine. Does that make sense? But if you cast from your hand, you instead okay. So say if I cast Sakashima from hand, I will reveal from the top until I hit a creature, and then I may cast that instead. If you don't want to, everything that you uh, revealed plus Sagashima goes to the bottom of your deck. And you get nothing. Well, yeah, I mean... So, you, the incentive is to play shitty cards and try to hope that they chaos warp into something better. More or less. Basically. But everything's yeah. just a fucking random drop now. Yes. So if I play a sorcery, it, it chaos warps into a sorcery, monster, creature creates another creature, so on and so forth. Yeah. 
So like if I play an artifact, it's like if I play a, a pr talisman, it's going to turn into another artifact. Yes. Right. The talisman yeah, yeah. plus everything that gets flipped before your next artifact goes to the bottom. Okay. Yes. That is fucking uh, retardedly stupid. And I was past. God. You got, you got theft. You got chaos. All right. I was just trying to have some birthday cake out here. This guy. Dude, I was up. trying to have some fun. And you guys, you guys can have fun. Just, just. I'm gonna draw. Just a little cards. Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna drop a forest. We're gonna drop a forest. So it doesn't really matter what I play, because it's going to get fucking... So whatever originally you wanted to do, it's just not going to happen. Okay, well, I'm going to play a Profane Memento for one mana. Oh. And so that's going to... Exile until you hit another... an artifact. Yeah. There oh, there it is. So you end up casting that instead. So that Wait, is can, you, can you move it out of the glare? glare Sorry. That's good, that's good. That glare is insane. Okay. Um, so oh, this all goes to the bottom of the deck. In a random order, so we can just shuffle. Oh, it's fine. Oh, Alright, that says when I gain life, I can pay X where X is less than or equal to the amount and draw that many cards. That's cool. Um, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Alright, well, then I am going to try to cast my soul attendant for one mana. But unfortunately, she turns into something else. So let's see if I can get a 27 mana off a of one drop. <laughs> hey, she Not pulled bad. out her mom. She pulled out her mom instead. <laughs> Not bad. Linden, the steadfast queen, vigilant. I think you're going to have to be Gain uh, life. All right, all right. That's something. That's something. That's something. We're making. We're making progress here. Okay. Oh, God, that's really fucking me up. I'm scared to play any cards that I don't want to actually lose. You know what? I'm going to be fair because no one's going to want to see this combo go off. So I'm going to cast my Exquisite Bond. Go ahead, Lucky, Kevin. lucky for you guys, that's going to mm -hmm. not be actually played. Because that mean, triggers an infinite. That's the whole point of possibility story. You know? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So, bam. And then we're going to flip for an enchantment. Oh, that's nice. Damn, if you just played a creature, we would have gotten Sun Titan. Oh, but we got the Celestial Manhole <laughs> instead. Okay. Equipped creature or enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, double its... Double the controller's life total. Wow. That's, that's going to cool. be... <laughs> Let's go. I need to get Bilbo back ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Give me back my Bilbo. All right. So what's up? Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. Then I am going to simply tap this to add one to my mana pool and gain one life. And then spin that one from that card. For the Well of Lost Dreams, draw a card. Okay. Let's go. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I'm going to cast one more card for three mana. But it's not going to work because I have to switch it. It's going to be a Marble Chalice. But now that artifact. has to turn into a different artifact. Go ahead. God, that glare is crazy. Swamp, Frodo, Sutra Priest, Collective Unconscious, Land, Ajani, 
Tutor, Samwise, Avatar, Enchantment. I'm there recognizing a lot of the cards in your deck. Oh, there it is, there it is. There we go. <laughs> okay, sure, there's a hammer. Wait, that, 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 that artifact was at the bottom. Too. And that push the bottom as well. You got it. Bam. All right. That's going to be a scary bitch on the next turn when she gets a big old elephant hammer in her hands. Yeah. I thought I was going to be able to jump with the, uh, with oh, the fairies, but you are given trample now. So, so, I, have, so, I have to pass the so turn just, since she summoned six. So just to, just to explain something, right? Like, uh, like, say if you cast it, your, um, uh, uh, okay, like, if you um, cast a card that has multiple types uh, on Possibility Storm, you can hit whichever one first. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so upkeep, lose one, make a fairy. Draw two because of the Howling Mine. Um... Hmm. So we are going to shock in Godless Shrine. Lose two. Okay. And then. We are going to pay three. Cast Kambal. Okay, uh, Kambal on this pack. Uh, I'm gonna try to run into something, if any. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a uh, reality ship on this back, which I'm not gonna get. I'm gonna go. Uh, are, you, are you trying to flip into a counter spell here? He literally yeah. is trying to flip so, into a counter spell. Also, right be, you, because you still attempted to cast that, I will gain two and you will lose two. True. No, 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 no. Combo's on the stack. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I flipped into this. I'm not gonna cast it. Combo result. Alright, model results. Cold blood. Yeah, you were you were kind of getting too ahead, like of of, of your thoughts, because on the yes, yeah, yeah, you're you're right, you're right. Okay, uh, that's all I will be able to do, and uh, I'll have to actually have to discard two cards. I must have forgotten to discard at some point because I should have only had eight cards in hand. Um. We will discard Seraph of the Scales and uh, let's see. Kaya or Azov Usurper. And I'll pass. Alright, I'm tough. Draw two. I'll come in tap because I control through a few other lanes. Um, what can I even fucking play? Nothing. I'll, I'll tap two to play a nasty end. Since I don't cast it right, I don't have to. Do I have to sack the creature? Uh, well, it says an additional cost to cast it's it. On it. You have yeah, to. Yeah. You have to pay the oh, mana yeah, and sack. Yeah, yeah to, to even. Yeah, to even play the card. You guys okay. can and, and then though, it would switch to something else. And even though possibility storm sure. is messing with it, you are still casting a non-creature spell, so I will gain two and you will lose two. Yeah. So I'm looking for an instant. And then whatever comes out, if you cast it again, it will happen again. You lose two. Oh, man. Maybe you can try to kill combo so it doesn't hurt again. Later. Counter oh. spell. You don't have to cast it. You don't have to cast it. It doesn't have any targets. He can't cast it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like. No, I'm saying he literally can't put it on the stack since it has no targets. All right. So, so just shuffle everything and then. 
so that just that goes to the and, bottom. Uh, and it goes to the bottom, that, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That stack and that the end. Uh, shuffle it and then put it on the bottom. It's, it's a random order. Alright. It really doesn't need to. Well, that was useful. Alright, well, untap. We all just need uh, to start spamming sorceries and instants and try to see if we can get something to destroy that fucking thing. I will play a high market for turn. Uh, let's play a... It should, it should, it should, uh, do it to your non, non-basic lands, too. What? What? I'm, just, I'm saying that card should make you, like, chaos warp your non-basic lands. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast an artifact. <laughs> Could you I'll, imagine? I'll look I'll lose two, you'll gain two. Go ahead. Uh, I will possibility stone for another artifact. Is that just any card we cast? Any, any from card your hand? Yes. From our hand that we lose two, gain two. Uh, no, Kambal is anytime you cast a non-creature spell. Non-creature. Okay. Touche. So that possibility storm is actually oh, helping. A reality. Me here. A reality chip. So I don't lose two, uh, but it's still artifact. It's a creature, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. so the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna look at the top card in my library. Oof. Okay, so if I if I cast cards from uh, Reality Chip, if it if it ever gets attached, it doesn't get positively useful. Just FYI. Right. Because it's, it's not. It's being cast from your library, not your hand. Yep. I'm gonna pay four. For a uh, artifact creature, so either or. Yeah. Creature, uh, I will um, cast duplicates as a copy of. Uh, Combal. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what's this the card's name? Copy it, the spell table's not pulling. Oh wait, there we go. Dax did it. Okay. Yeah, so it's ent it's entering as a copy of Kumball. Kumball. Kumball uh, with uh, with haste and dethrone. I think so, I fixed the glare uh, on the table. No more glare. So I, I will have to attack trans for it, but it's it's the tans, Johnny tans, but but I can't I can't. It's not it's not a good. A good idea. So it's it's a two two combo right now. So when I cast non creature spells, uh, combo is a two three. Cancels. Two three. Okay. So when I cast non creature spells, I don't I don't take any damage. Uh, no, you will still take life. it from me. Okay, but then I will gain life. No, oh, not yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, casting right. it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Understood. And then uh, when when um, Marchesa and Bilbo cast things, they will take four. Yeah. And we'll each gain two. Okay, all right. That's, uh, I'll look at the top card. Um, this motherfucker took uh, my Bilbo and then stopped me from getting it back. God damn it. Uh, Celestial Man who gives a flying? No, it doesn't give a flying. Um, I'll just pass. God damn it. All right. Go ahead, Johnny. We're going to untap. Uh, untap. And then I'm gonna draw two cards because of the howling mind. And then we're gonna put down a swamp. Let's go. And then I'm gonna attempt to source the plowshares. Bam on Bilbo. I know it doesn't um, work. Let's go. So on that cast, you lose four, and me and Thick yeah, will both gain two. two. All right, one, two, three, four, and so that instant will turn into the next instant. Hopefully, it's useful. Lion, creature, lion, lion, creature, 
Instant. Oh. Exile target creature. <laughs> Let's go, you Pretty son good. of a fuck. That's how you play the uh, game. So, oh, so you're uh, a path Swords goal, right? into a path, bro? Who could make that up? Uh, yeah, he, uh, you are uh, still so targeting Bilbo, path, correct? So you lose four. I did target Bilbo. That's right, so you lose four, we gain two each. I did that. I will, uh, uh, cause I will this, this is recasting a new spell. Oh. Yeah. Possibility Storm, you end up casting four. two spells. I understand. Uh, I understand. So, so you're pathing it, I, I, will, I will go look for a basic. Yes, and now Bilbo oh. returns back to his rightful place in my command zone. I got an eye. And then the path is gone, and the swords get shuffled back down to the bottom. Yeah, swords. All right. Yep. Dude, cool. let's go. I took a chance on that one, boys. <laughs> you did. That paid off. I even, I, I, even okay paid, I even paid 10 life just to make that happen. <laughs> Or however life I lost. Eight life. Eight. God damn. But I mean, you... For playing a one drop. I'll look at the top You've top. got a ridiculous creature right now. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You're still the arch enemy right now. I don't know what you're talking about. You have, you have the most and then I'm going to move right. to play Bilbo. Sure. Okay. For one, two, three, plus an additional two. Sure. Alrighty. Then I'm going to tap my pristine talisman. For one colorless, gaining one life, and then Bilbo makes it another life, and then I'm going to be tapping two mana to gain two cards from the Loss of Wild Dreams because I just gained two life. Yep. I'm gonna draw that cards. Let's go. That's a good card. I still Three have draw one two, not floating. Bad at all. I still have one floating from this, so I'm gonna tap that one floating, the one green, this and this. I'm gonna attempt. To cast Elanda the Dusk Rose, but she okay. does not actually. It will turn into another creature. Come out, somebody it else. Turns will into come out. She oh, turns oh, into a Loris of the Dream Den. Wow. Not bad. Well, he was gonna get it next turn, no matter what. Yeah. Three, two. No, he wouldn't, because it would have been in his hand next my turn. Turns. I can cast. Possibility Storm would have said, "Screw that." Yep. I'm just playing all all randomness right now. I'm just like fucking. Well, yeah. We gotta play into it. Um, I don't even. I only have one, two creatures. Okay, that's worth it. Um, uh, that is worth it. Um, yeah. With that said, I'm gonna move to combat, and I am gonna swing. It's vigilant. It is a six six, and if it does damage. I double my life total, and when it attacks, I gain one life. Okay, so swing it at me. I think I, I got to just to get that double life of blink trigger. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do it. I'll encourage it. All right, I appreciate you. I'm gonna send it at you. Uh, it's vigilant, so it doesn't tap. And then. Uh, first, I'm gonna gain a life because it's a white creature attacking, and then Bilbo makes that an extra one. Yep. And then, since you said you're gonna take it, that now yeah, lets me double 43 damage, I believe. To... Yeah. And then my life total doubles, so I am currently at 86. Wait, how much was it? Six, uh, damage. six damage. And hmm. that does technically count as life gain, so Bilbo will gain you an extra. Sure. Whenever you gain life. Oh, oh nice. So 87. 87. 87. Wow. Nice. Yes. Let's go. This is the closest I got to it. 111th birthday. Let's go. All right. And now I am going to pass because that's all I can do. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Get a second fairy. Lose one life. Then draw two because of the howling mine. I'll play a plains as a lion for turn. Uh, I will pay one white to attempt to cast Authority of the Consoles. I will lose two and fix then will gain two because of the non creature spell. Nice. Uh, and it will turn into a different enchantment. It's gonna turn into smothering tips, watch. I don't have that in this deck. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes! Tainted Remedy. 
Whenever an opponent gains uh, life, they lose that much instead. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So on the, no. the Alright, alright. Tainted Remedy is on the stack. On the stack, I will still gain two life because of Yes. And I will lose okay, another that's all, life. That's all. That's all. Now it will resolve. Sure. Then I will pay two again, uh, using the Godless Shrine for white. Uh -huh. To attempt to cast Blind Obedience. I will still lose two, but you will also lose two. Okay, sure. Uh, and it will turn into a different enchantment again. Sure. Necropotence. Uh, I will lose two and you will also lose two. And then, um, I will pay one life to Necropotence, exile one card, at my end step it will go into my hand, and I am going to pass the turn, that card goes to my hand, and I am now at seven. Okay. Draw, draw. Not that it fucking matters. Um... I will... Okay... Three into a heat stroke, so that'll go into an enchantment. Might be a minute. Oh, uh, we each lose two, though. No. no. Uh, from uh, vigil, yeah, I'll gain whenever two. a creature... Yeah, I'll lose two. Uh, at least... And, uh, no, you pass it again, I lose it comes back. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Two for an is it segment? So uh, I'll I'll for an two. artifact. I will high market away this bitch faster. <laughs> it's what you get. I will get. Don't it. take my shit. Well, that's, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. When the situation gets so temporal anchor at the beginning of my upkeep, I scry two, so that'll get me around that shit. Right, that's dope. So I lose another two. Okay, sure. Alright, then I'll pass. Oh, are you passed? Okay, I'm passed. Uh... Oh, shit. Upkeep of draw. Draw two. Okay, this is... The, there's, 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 there's some hope. Uh, let's... Um... I guess... First of all, let's play a lane's return. Second of all, uh, I go to combat first. Uh, I will swing a uh, two two with a plus one plus one counter because of default and a Johnny. So the three three combo. Uh, it's a three, three four. Three four combo. Yeah, three four combo. Is it flying? No. How, how much does it hit with, sorry? It'll hit for three. Three, four. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So if I double block, will it die? Uh, if you double block, it, it will it, die, it's yes. A, it's a three, four, yes. It's three I'm power, four to, toughness, you I'm, have... I'm, I'm, I'm going to double block, and my Loris has lifelink, so that's going to trigger. I'm going to kill your Loris. Okay, so I'm uh, gonna cool. gain three life plus one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then Laura. And then I'm dead. gonna. I'm gonna. This. This will die. Okay. Great. Indeed. Uh, I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. The second main. Though. Okay. Uh. What should we do? Uh. Let's do. Uh. This would be. The activation. 
Uh, I will play a rock rat from uh, command zone, so nothing. I will uh, reconfigure the reality chip onto him. Yep. So now you can cast from the top. I'll pay. Yep, I'll pay a red and a blue, so two mana floating. The cast a uh, uh, grim monolith from the top. Yep. And when you do cast that, I will gain two, and you will lose two. Yep. I will. Let's see. Is that uh, card still out where you lose life instead of gain life? Uh, yeah. The oh right. Uh, so you would have oh, lost four that means... then. So or actually no, because lost... um, it's replacing your life <laughs> gain. So you would have lost three. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna pay. I'm so gonna pull I was three. at eighty-seven, so I'm actually at eighty-four. Three and a blue to cast a displacer kitten. Okay. That's right, that's fine. I'm gonna that's look at the top part. It's not of my fine, library. but it's fine. Not fine. I'd rather it be gone. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pay two mana for a sorcery. Uh, uh, Interesting melody X for zero. So uh, I will lose two for Combal. Uh, Displacer Kitten is going to trigger. I'm going to flicker the Grim Monolith. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go look for a sorcery. So brainstorm. Uh, consuming Tide. I will cast it. Uh, I'm going to lose two life. So everybody... Uh, okay, each, each player chooses a non-land permanent they control. Return all non-land permanents not chosen this way to his owner's hand. Then I draw a card for each opponent who has more cards in their hand than me. Wait, say that again, please. Did you, uh, this is scan, I think. Choose a non-land permanent. Everything else goes back to your hand, or every other non-land permanent goes back to your hand. For everybody, and then I draw a card for every player that has more, uh, cards in hand than me. Okay. That's not going to be many. So, just so, so I, I choose it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to choose to keep my Tainted Remedy. I'm going to choose Possibility Storm. Uh, Johnny, what do you choose? Uh, I will... Be... How about you get rid of the Possibility Storm simply yeah. for the fact that it's extending the game a very long fucking time. I agree, but uh, that's kind of the whole point of his deck. It's just absolute chaos, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's right. He's not wrong. So a uh, consuming <laughs> tide is also going to flicker this. It's going to flicker my rock for whatever reason. It's, 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 it's all going to go back upon resolution, which I can pull the mana. So uh, Johnny, what do you choose? Uh, I am choosing the Hallowed Mon to stay on the field. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you choose, uh, squad? Actually, I, I changed that. I'm I'm keeping the Loxodon Warhammer on the battlefield. Okay, sure. I'm gonna and choose squad. these three. Okay. These, these, so you, you have to choose one for a minute. Alright, but if you're keeping Possibility Storm, I'm gonna keep three. How, how do you keep three? I'm okay, just, sure, like, sure, I'm sure. just kidding, man. I'm just tired okay. of the extra long um, from... So I'm going to float uh, a blue and three colorless one. Okay, so three colorless and a blue. Let me get my name. Okay, so everything else goes back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards in my hand. I have ten cards in hand. Uh, so, uh, so how many cards in hand does everybody have? I I'm just, drawing one. Twelve. Twelve. I have ten. Eight. Okay, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, so I draw two cards because you have two players with more than eight. Congratulations. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, so I have one blue and two, uh, three colorless blue. I'm gonna cast um, a creature from my hand. Possibility storm. Uh, stun double. I will not cast it. There's no creature out, right? So this will go back to the command zone. Rod Rat is, uh, um, Arcane Signet going down to one colorless. Uh, Teferi's Puzzle Box. Fun. So, you guys know what this does? Teferi's Puzzle Box? Yeah, we don't have the same hand more than one turn. Basically. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna... The one color floating and the blue for a Grim Monolith, so the artifact. Oh, sorry, not it. Oh, Lightning Greed. Okay, cool. Two mana left. Um, I have seven cards in here. I'll just pass. Yes. <sighs> So what does the puzzle box do? Buddy? So you draw a card. Uh, yeah. So you, you draw your cards so return, then count how many cards are yep. in your hand. Okay, that so means you, 13. You have 13 now, correct? Yep. So you, and you put, all you down put the those cards on the bottom and draw 13 more. Yeah. So you lost so that's what the puzzle box does. That is so gay. You're so gay. No offense. Anyone. I know you have it. I know you have it. It's. It would be fun if we were all sitting at the same table. This is just kind of an annoying deck plan spell table. You, know? you untap your land. I will. I'll get to that. I don't. I don't. I don't see how this is annoying on spell table. Like I'm not controlling. I'm not taking. One, two, shit. three, four. Like I took a command. Like I said, it's the extra long turns that are not yet. Take well, I mean, you know, if, if you want to play a faster game, it's just no, it's just a, no, it's just a lot to out. keep up with, and then it's a lot to sure. I mean, you know, you can always surrender. You have one more card. Okay. Wait, did Bill will go to my hand or the command zone just then? When Everything. Uh, you could shoot. You could go go back to your hand. You could go back to your hand. Uh, but then so, you get possibility so storm. I'm gonna have him in my hand and. and no, and so you he was in your hand when the puzzle it. box was happening. Yes. Yeah. So, the puzzle box is telling you to put your hand on the bottom of your on your, on the bottom of your so library. He had to when, go on the bottom. When he goes from your hands to your library, you can choose to put him back in the command zone. And it will not affect how many cards you would have drawn because it counted before you did that. Okay, so put that card back. I got you. That's what I was questioning. Alright. So now he is four extra because I cast him in case. Alright. These are all new cards. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. God damn. You're a son of a fuck. I'm going to play Command Tower. And, okay, I'm gonna play an elixir of immortality, which fucking turns into a. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that would have been so good. That would have just. I... Oh. That basically would have ended the game. I should have played a creature. I should. You should have. Listen, but you have no way to know that you were gonna hit no, that. No, 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 dude, dude. no, no. I'm just no. Joking. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. No fucking. <laughs> Uh, no tasty backseats. Oh, that's so oh my god. God damn. Oh, there okay, that's something. Okay, I spell Ooh, look. I get to keep all these hands. Fucker. Let's go. Okay. I have no maximum hand size. Yeah, but it, be... it doesn't say your hand size is less. You just that every turn you have to throw more cards. No, no, I'm saying, like, at the end of my turn, technically... I it means he doesn't have to discard, discard, is what he's saying. He can keep the oh, cards yeah, in his hand. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, For yeah, sure, yeah. then every turn he draws way more. But it's also... 
so that card, if I gain life, lose life, that's gone, right? No, that's the card I decided to keep when he did the when he decided to bounce everything. You son of a bitch. Oh man, I'm gonna be losing 13 life a turn. Oh, okay, this is a problem. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. You didn't have to cast it, right? Like, but I did. True, you could um, technically decide not to cast it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm gonna decide that's, not that's to cast that because now that that's now that okay I realize it's yeah. gonna kill yes. me, I'm gonna yes. not do that. Yeah, that's an okay take back. Because okay, that's that's go. a you there didn't know the force thing very well. Right? Uh Karloff, the ghost council. Sure, go ahead. But he does not get to live because somebody else takes his place. Fucking okay. A. Trust Oh that's fine. Pretty good trade. Yeah. Right, on the bottom. Okay, we're just gonna keep cranking them out here. Tap two. Elias, ill core sadistic pilgrim. Sure. Turns oh, into is. Tress Lara, the moon dancer. Uh, when a creature enters the battlefield under your control, gain life equal to his toughness. I just saw so him losing two life. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you'll lose two life because of the change around me. Two. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that sucks. Um, and then we are going to... If you play an aura enchantment, do you have to flip to another aura or just another um, enchantment? It has to share a type, so it would be an enchantment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, because auras are all enchantments, so you'll hit enchantments. Right, because the, the aura is the subtype, not the... Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Touche. Alright, well, we're going to try that then. We're going to uh, try to play a gift of Orzol for three, but that's going to turn into an enchantment. Into Armadillo Cloak. And I'm going to be putting that on to Tristani. Actually, I'll put that on the Moon Dancer. Oh, it just happened to flip into another R enchantment. Uh, and then I just have two man hairs, and I can't do anything with it. Awesome. All right, so uh, I end my turn, I guess, and I have to okay. discard down the hand size. Untap, upkeep, draw. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards in hand. So they will go to the bottom and I will draw eleven more. I am going to redirect Kambal to the command zone. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Discarding this, this, a soul of eternity, a storm herd, behemoth sledge, and a uber. Okay. Oh, yeah. I am going to play swamp for turn. And. I'm gonna pay five to re attempt to recast Cumball from the command zone. And um that will be all I can do for my turn, so I'll have to discard down to hand size. So I'll have to discard three cards. I'm gonna discard three lands. Swamp, swamp, and forsaken sanctuary. I pass. Okay. Untap. We'll scry two. We'll exile images with that. 
eight, draw for turn, that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll play the island for turn. I'll play the raging battle mouse from there. And then I'll tap four. Uh, the for possibility the storm is first going oh, to storm. is first going to do the raging battle speak? mouse. For what? I cast it from Exile. Oh, you, yeah. you cast it from Exile? And then he cast it from Command Zone. I was picking oh. up what you were doing. Sorry, I, I thought the only thing you had exiled was the mountain. No, he That's had fine. them both sitting there. Okay, sorry. That's my yeah, bad. Uh, That's my bad. Exile too. Yep. Okay. It was all technically mm, not yeah. from hand. Yep, no, I, that was, I missed that part. I thought he only had the mountain. That's my bad. Actually, uh, Marchesa costs one less since the second spell. So Wait, I'll are you the four. are you the uh, monarch, or is that not the uh, Marchesa? No, that's not it. That's not it. This is the that's dethroned Marchesa. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then I guess I'll. I love it. how one one makes you king and then the other one dethrones you. Yeah. Up uh, I think it's on flavor. It's nice. Eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A uh, bottom eight and draw. Dude, I have that Aragorn Lord of the Rings deck, and that thing made Monarch fucking OG again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So I will play a Fable Passage for turn. I'll fetch it. Island. This bull just got a convenient Swifty Lightning Boots just chilling. Ready to protect more bullshit. Uh, all right, let's do. How many, you, how many cards did you just have to discard or flip? What? How many cards like are in your hand that you're doing? Okay, I already did this. I drew eight cards. Okay. I had seven, and I drew a one for turn, so I had eight, and I bought them eight. Okay. I was very verbal about it too. Um, I will play a uh, enchantment. I'll lose two. Is that? Uh, again. Oh, I get a Ristic study. So possibility storm will be one count, and then the other one will also trigger. Just saying. Yep. Um. Uh, let's play a artifact. I take another two. For combo. Oh, I get a chromatic lantern. Okay. I'll take another two. Uh, I will have to take another two for the, uh, wrist thing. So, I missed that. Um... Jesus. Uh, I'll get another artifact. I'll lose two. Oh, I get a grim monolith. I'll take another two. Um... More board wipes. Damn. Uh, sorcery. I'll take. I'll take. Uh, I'll take two. I'll take another two. For zero, and then sorcery. I have another one. Let's see. Oh, windfall. Cards in hand. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I guess we draw seven. Uh, so is, is Squad still here? I don't know what's up with. It like grabbed his camera and started walking away, and then it froze and. Yeah. Well, I'm casting. Well, I already took the two. So, and it's a discard, right? Yeah, discard and draw the maximum hand size. Yeah. Well, I seven. thought it was equal to the amount discarded, so I stay seven, though? No, no, no. If each player discards his or her hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards each player discarded this way. Right, okay. so the highest was somebody, the highest was seven. Yeah. Nobody discarded so more discard than that. And draw. One, seven. Uh, two, three, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Okay, um... Damn, I don't know what to do. I'm at 12, like, anyways. I need block. So, um... I will float. You know it's bad when you start cycling through the cards you already cycled through earlier. <laughs> Three mana floating, going down to one to play a rock rat from command zone. Um, and then this one floating, and then four more mana. Three more mana. Three more. For a Sakashima as a copy of rock rat, just a blocker. I have seven cards in hand, I'll pass. Untap, draw one. Now I have to put all of these on the bottom and draw another eight, right? Yes. yes. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. We are going to play a swamp. Then we are going to play a, a Johnny's part of me. Okay. And then that turns into a <sighs> turns into a Archivist of Ugum. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 do you pay Ristic for the first spell, and you pay Ristic for the second? Uh, no, no. Okay, sure. I don't do this. I'm just gonna leave this deck here because they're on the bottom of my deck. I'm gonna be playing all the cards. Whenever I purchase opponent searches their library, I gain a life. Well, technically, lose a life, and I draw a card. <clears throat> they will fill a good card. Fill a good card. Uh, then I'm gonna play a Sutra Priest. You pay Ristic? No. And then it warps into a Golem, Obsessed Stalker. I draw for Ristic? Sure. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent dealt damage this game this turn. by a creature. It says this game, this game specifically. What? Any. Yep. Golem each opponent stalker, dealt right? damage. Yes. Each opponent dealt damage this game by a creature named Golem. Loses life equal to the what? amount of life I gained this turn. So the point of Golem is to touch everybody once and then just gain life. And then okay. just yeah. That is he's pretty good. If if people read him correctly, he's really good. I'm I'm trying to make an all black golem deck, like Voltron version of it. With him and the uh, Frodo Sauron's Bane that's black-white, I'm thinking that'll be a good little tag team Voltron situation. Because the yeah, other the, the, the Frodo just straight up says if, if the ring tempts you four times and he touches somebody, they lose the game. Yeah. Like, it's kind of stupid. So I'm going to make a Golem and Frodo deck and see how All stupid right, so, I can uh, do. So it's your turn. Uh, I did not pay out. the stick for those two. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I drew. All right. Um, and then I'm gonna play. Uh, looks Samwise, like Dash is gone the now. Harder. Ristic? No. Okay, sure, sure. 
and he's going to turn into Elonda, the Dusk. I'll draw for Rister. All right. And then I am going to... Play a Diabolical Tutor. Source. Uh, you pay Rhystic? You don't, right? I will pay Rhystic right now. And you oh, will... you will pay Rhystic. Okay. You will lose to an Algain, too. I lose. That being a non-creature. Alright, and then it's going to flip into another Sorcery. Let's go. I have a board. That's an instant. That's an instant. That's a sorcery, but I can't pay for it. The ex awesome. expel, right? Yep. So I everything goes my cast that. So all of these are the cards that I drew. So I'm gonna shuffle them and put them all in the bottom because that kind of matters now. All of a sudden. <clears throat> Um, and then I'm going to trigger Trostani. I'm going to be an honest man. I'm going to lose one, two, three, four life. Sure. From Trostani. Me, bam. Dude, that, that one card is fucking pitting a chokehold on me. God damn. <sighs> I might have been at 111 by now, possibly. I don't know. I, the entire uh, reason I put Tainted Remedy in here was because if I end up against another life gain deck, I yep, just can't yep, win. Yep. It makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, Alright, so. What we are going to do now is simply... How big is your Rocka Waka Waka over there? Zero one. They're both, I have two zero ones on board with first strike oh. medicine. Oh, that's good to know. I'm going to uh attack you with telesara and tristani does any of them trample no uh oh i lied i lied, I lied. telesara Tel has trample she is a four four with trample and lifelink uh i will take the four and i'll block tristani with a with a rock rat all right and then unfortunately i will lose four as well for attacking it because i don't gain life that is really fucking sucky God damn, my whole my whole deck is game life. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I gained so much of a beginning before that came out. God yeah. damn. It. Oh man. Alright. So that is my turn, boy. Yes. Okay. Untap, upkeep. I will draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to the I bottom. Have three cards in my hand now. Let's go. And draw eight new ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, not a whole lot of options when most of what I draw is land. I'll play planes, the land for turn. And, um, hmm. I can only cast one of these spells because I just don't have the mana. Uh, pay four. Attempt to cast Solemn Simulacrum. So I will go until I get either an artifact or a creature. Yep. Yeah. Or Zob Signet. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, wait, do you pay Rhystic for both? Um, I, uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, you got it. Okay. Uh, Yo, and deck, is this like a deck list you lo looked up or something? No, this is a homebrew. I was just curious because there's somebody in my store that plays pretty much the exact same deck. No, it was pretty much a homebrew. Because right, I, I had another like. I'll pass the turn there. And, with and even more chaos. The reason I was telling you about like it being salty earlier is because like I've seen the in-person salt at my store when he plays it because hey. the game literally will last four hours long. And I'll draw for Turk and then possibility stage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Draw 14. Yeah, I know well, I mean this is uh cause cause I cause cause I played CDH and high power a lot. 
This yeah, is more like you just get those people that just get annoyed because they're not the ones controlling the game, and so like they don't want to play anymore because they don't want to watch you play solitaire. Nine, 10, 11, 12, I mean that is 13, that is kind of what we're doing here. Each yeah, each one I of mean, us is just playing solitaire. We have no actual yeah, control exa of the game. Exactly. Like and so I, I'm coming from like a LGS point of view like they're only open from so long and like they'll they'll close at 6 p.m so like if you go to play cards you want to get a couple games in somebody plays a deck like that you're playing one game um i don't know because it might not even like finish we'll go to like 11. well look <laughs> you know you guys can always surrender uh, i'll put a creature in the play <laughs> i love how he uh, says that <laughs> that is an option i get a malcolm i get a malcolm yeah we could always surrender or i could wait for uh Two more spell casts that are non creatures. Yeah. I've just been slowly waiting for his life to tick away. Uh, well, I know. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So it's like you, you, you let me play my game, or you could surrender, or you. you know, I mean, I, I don't know what choices you really have. Uh, I'm gonna swing two in the air at uh, sovereigns. Yeah, that's fine. I'll get a treasure. Second name. Um, that's I will it's... cast. Does he still a, have a copy uh, of Kemble? No, he doesn't. No. No. I'm I'm gonna cast I'm gonna pay this. So one mana and then four more for a creature, coercive recruiter. Creature. Oh, ancient copper dragon. A six five something one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve uh discard down to hand size discarding a high tide that a brainstorm a intrinsic no uh a soaring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thought vessel. Yes. I'll pass. Trying to get all your non creatures out of your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnny. I, I pass. pass. My bad, my bad, my bad. My turn, my turn, my turn. Untap. And I'm gonna draw one, and that's gonna be four cards in hand. All of them go to the bottom. I'm gonna draw four cards. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's everybody's favorite. One, two, three. And out oh, to one, two. To play a Howling Mine. But that's not going to stay on the field because it's going to get flipped. Okay, it's it's really ring. Pay Ristic for both? I'm going to not pay Ristic. Uh, wait, Howling Mine goes in the bottom. It doesn't go in the air. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. And for two and non creatures, it. you'll lose four, man, uh, four life. Oh, that sucks. One, two, three, four. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I'm gonna tap two from the soul ring that I just got. And one, and two. Actually, one and two. There we go. And I am gonna play my Well of Lost Dreams and lose another four life. One, two, three, four, because two artifacts are coming. No, I'm not paying for a stick either times. And that's okay. going to flip into a pristine talisman. I'll draw it. Bam. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Thick, did you happen to search your library last turn? Nope. 
Okay, just checking. Uh, did any creature die? Neither. No creature. No creatures died either. Okay. I just keep forgetting they all got special shit that they do. Um, okay, so... I really don't want to waste this card, but I need to play something. I don't want to waste it. Alright, so I'm going to be playing another non-creature spell with more fucking life, and i got to waste my camaraderie for... Uh, think... No and no. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, I don't want the first five, six. You don't uh, have to cast it. So it's going to be another sorcery. <laughs> I will get you below 40 life before you manage to get that Felidar. <laughs> Dude, that's my only hope right now. <laughs> that is my only hope in this game is to flip Felidar off of a creature. Okay, so it's a captured sunlight which says Cascade. Gain four life, so I'm gonna lose four. I'm down. All right, so you can choose call. not to cast it. Yeah. Uh, do I still get the Cascade? Uh, no, if you, if you choose not to cast it, you will not get the Cascade. You will well, not I'm choosing to life. cast it. I already lost my four. Okay. And so, okay, so all I'll of this I'll, I'll, I'll So first, all of this gets shuffled into the bottom. And, and then, then cascade, cascade for four. You, right into a whip of Erebus. You pay Ristic for that? Um, yes, I pay uh, Ristic Cascade, okay. it has to be less mana cost. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, oh, so you have to keep sense. going. So, 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 so you didn't pay Ristic yet. You didn't pay Ristic. Uh, does that count? Wait, wait, wait. wait don't, don't, don't untap the soul ring. You already tapped the soul ring. Oh, what did I? Oh, it was a land. It was my command yeah. tower. Holy shit. Uh, what is that citywide bust? That works, right? I it's believe. A sorcery. I can cascade into our sorcery. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or three. No, no. Is, is the CMC lower than the uh, cascade? Part? It's three. I cast it, okay, the cascade four. Yeah, yeah, is a three. four. So this goes into a three. It says yes. destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. Do I have to cast it? Yes or no? You don't it's have to cast it. You I, may play. Right, it. Yeah, you you yeah, may I'm play. It, so you don't have to. You don't uh, have to cast it. I'm I'm gonna choose to cast it. Okay. okay. Are there any creatures with a toughness four or greater? I think only the dragon. Wait, wait, doesn't 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 your uh enchanted creature have trample? Like that that guy? That, that... Uh oh wait, Trellisar yeah. is currently at, My Telosar has... is gonna die, yes. It's a yeah. four four. Yes. Okay, he'll die. But so the dragon and the Trellisar. Alright, she is dead. Another non creature. So just so off the spell two cast. creatures two two creatures just died, correct? Yes. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna trigger Yolanda to get two two counters on her. Um all right. And did you draw for that last race ago or whatever? I guess you No, did. I didn't draw. Are you are you paying for it? Though? Yeah, that's what okay, the command sure, sure. tower was for. Yeah. Um, and then I will attack thick and thin with a archivist, a Ogima, Tristani, a Golem, and a Yolanda. How big is Yolanda? Yolanda is a currently a three three life link. How uh, how much damage do I take? If you take all of it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. I'll block the four four. So how much do I take now? Uh one, two, three, four, five damage. And then I lose four damage. Gaining four damage. God, you shut down Golem too with that guard. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. Son of a bitch, I need that card for this deck now. An inspired myth. 
All right. Um, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Try to get sick even closer to death. Untap, upkeep. I'll draw. And that puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. So they seven go to the bottom. I will draw seven new ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, just pick them up. There we go. All right, let's see. It's like Johnny. If you if you kill me, you're still not gonna win against Salk. Uh, well, since he'll I'm since he'll be actually be able to play what he wants to play, he might be able to easily remove the Tainted Remedy. I have no idea what's in his deck. Technically, I've shown you every single card so far. <laughs> yeah. Technically, I've yes. That doesn't mean card. I've consciously recognized yes. all of it. Yeah, touche. I the only card I've been fishing for uh, was my return to dust. I do have that. That's what I've been fishing uh, for. Play Plains Return. Um, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Uh, attempt to cast Alhamaret's Archive. Uh, then I will possibility. Um, yeah, say, yeah, I'll pay Rustic. Okay. Uh, so I will possibility storm into an artifact. Armageddon Clock. Mystic? Yes. Okay. So, Armageddon Clock is a very old card. It scans. Yeah. At the beginning of my upkeep, put one Doom counter on Armageddon Clock. At the end of my upkeep, Armageddon Clock deals X damage to each player, where X is the number of Doom counters on Armageddon Clock. During any upkeep, any player may pay four mana to remove a doom counter. Okay. I like that card. If they continue, you should put that in your deck too. That seems like some chaos like bullshit. It's too, it's too, it's too heavy, uh, it's too mana intensive. No, too shit. Okay. Um. Very chaos -y card, I like it. It's kind of like a Nev. I'm going to move to combat. Cool. And attempt to swing two at um, at a thick thin. Sure. Okay. And then I will pass my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, a lot of creatures. Alright, okay. I will play a Phantasmal image. Get a reality. Okay. I'll look at the top card. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Uh, one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, let's do a... Is there is there any creatures on the battlefield that has lifelink right now? Alenda. Elonda. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Um. And what is her um? Four, base four. stats. Three, 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 three. Her base stats three, is a one, one. Okay. Okay. That's what I need. Um. I look at the top card again. Because I forget. Um. Yeah, I have no choice. I'll pay four for a Sakashima student, the creature. 
uh, Protean Raider. I'm not casting it. Let's do a Venser. Come on, Kozalik. There it is. Uh, when that gets cast, I'm going to draw four cards. Because I cast four cards. Okay. Two, three, four. Oh, all right. Doesn't matter. Um, I will equip the Lightning Breeze onto Kozilek. Uh, I go to combat. Uh, I'll swing a 12-12 Annihilator 4 at Sovereign and a 2-2 in the air at Johnny. Okay. For the Annihilator trigger, I will sacrifice the Armageddon Clock, the Orzhov Signet, and then a Plains and a Swamp. Okay. So you and then I will take 12. Uh, I get a treasure. Well, oh, damn. Uh, sure. I'll contact this. No. Uh, I'll cast a Joe Lotus and I'll kill myself. Good luck, Johnny. Wow. Okay. Seriously? Well, yeah. Well, I'm I'm at one life. I'm not gonna survive the next turn. So. All right. So that just means I draw a card and nothing happens, right? Yep. Because the we now just draw like normal and we cast like normal because all the chaos effects are gone. Alrighty. Well, you guys go back to a boring seven or eight game. GGS. All right. With that said, that that is that's that's stupendous. It's absolutely stupendous. Uh, Considering you said we go back to a boring seven to eight game, I think he's a little bit salty. I I have I believe he's a little bit salty as well. Except he was the one screwing with the game, so he yeah, doesn't really have. And I was just simply telling him he can't be surprised by people being salty that he's playing a deck like that. Yeah, like we're here yeah. to play magic, not. We we stuck around, kept playing. I mean, you died. That was our our prerogative was to kill you to stop the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> uh man. All right. So if you didn't notice, I just played in an oblivion ring, my sir. Oh, I mean, and I'll gain two, to stay. but, um, and I'll lose two, and I'm choosing that fucking card, the enchantment that lets me not gain life. So this is exiled until Oblivion Ring uh, exits the battlefield, yes? Yes, indeed, sir, that is what that is. And then I'm for some reason I had thought it was Oblivion fight. Stone, not Oblivion Ring. But no, Oblivion Ring is uh not a bad card. Cause you can pick any permanent, I love it. You can pick enchantment, artifact, or creature, or land. Uh and then we're just going to do something really cool here. We're gonna go Mm, yeah. Actually, I also just I find it kind of funny that he, the very turn he leaves Oblivion Ring, get rid of the Tainted Remedy. I can't stop you now. Yeah, but he, like, he was like, was if, holding, if, he was like, if I'm if I'm out of the game, then you're not going to be able to one v one solve right. I had now. one card in my I had card. one card in my hand. It was Oblivion Ring. So if he didn't do that, like if he just oh stayed in the God. game, the Oblivion Ring would have been cycled with his fucking card, and then I would have drew another card. But the f that's why so, I was like, are you sure you're quitting? Him, and so the, the fact that he quit, he even helped me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, okay, we, we can be born. Yeah, that's that's why we don't just quit, because just quitting can change the game in ways it's you just, can't it's just a, He can make me, he just can make me by quitting. Pretty because much, because I quit. don't believe I'm gonna be able to 1v1 this. the one this. answer. It was I was looking for return to dust or my oblivion ring to get rid of that card because I was trying to get return to dust to blow up his shit 
because I can pop two things with a return to dust. All right, so I'm just going to be... There's a card in my graveyard that I was also going to spring on him on my turn um, that went in the graveyard when we had to discard our hand, and it is named Soul of Eternity. Soul of Eternity. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna tap nine, man. <laughs> Tongue, Soul of Eternity. Encore, Soul of Eternity. He comes into play. He is a 53, 53. And I gain 53 life off of Tristani. I oh, attack with all my no. creatures and I win. Which the means game. he's. He did that. He becomes he did that. 106. Yes, sir. Well, and then it'll die. But if I also, wow. if I could have, I mean, it gains. Out, that it's not going to die. The copy gains haste, and I don't have a blocker. That's game. Oh, I I meant sacrifice it instead. Yeah, but yes, that is game. Yes. Yeah. Because he hits with fifty three now. Well, and then no, gains on 53. he hits yeah. the battlefield is fifty three when you <laughs> you immediately go to one hundred six. Yep. All right. Good game. Good game. Oh my Lanta, all because he quit and I had the I had literally one card in my hand. It was Oblivion, this is the card I drew. It was a fucking celestial. Oh my Lanta god. That would have doubled my life length or doubled my life total again. And all because he quit, I get to keep that card. Get rid of your stopper and then wreck. Let's go. GG's man. That was a yeah. good game. We kept we kept them honest. I, if it wasn't for that first time I played the, the Celestial Mantle and doubled my life, that's what saved me, because then I was just, like, freely able to just keep casting cards and doing yeah, cause and hitting and doing stuff. And losing life. We, Every time I attacked, I lost life. You gained 44 life, I believe, off that first one to go to 87. Yeah, yep. So you would have been at 8 when you cast that Encore, and it would not have been enough. See? Oh, man, everything counts. Everything counts. GG's, that was a good game. That was a good one. That was a long one. Alright. So, now the game's actually over, let's make the game public again. Reset game. And I'll give it. I'll just give it like two, three minutes. But uh, I often have trouble getting people into matches after one finishes if people leave. It's janky. It's if we don't get somebody in the next couple minutes, I'll remake the room and it should fill up. Yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody's gonna join at the moment. The, either the room is bugged or people don't like when there's two people. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to remake the room. If you wanna hop back in after I've done so? It's gonna have the same name. Six to eight casual EDH.
Welcome back. Hey, what's cool? Back. Hello, Arexius. Hello, Pure Ignorance. Yo. What's going on, people? How we doing? Doing good. Uh, was good. Just had a good uh, one. It was a good one. I've got a Planeswalker deck where I have a Farina deck, uh, which is like a sort of a political one. Do you guys have a preference? Uh, I do not have a preference. Uh, I just will mention that my Damia deck is a bit on the controlling side. Ugh, that ain't gonna be no fun. It wants, to, it wants to keep okay. myself alive until I can make you guys have no deck. But I'm very fond of having a nice big deck. Hey, you can't. Okay. I'll have to finish sorting in a minute. Right, uh, so I'm going to randomize three times to get the order. One, two, three. Did that third one even change anything? Ah oh, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, okay. I unfortunately cannot keep that hand. Hey, What's up, kiddo? Can you take knowledge of being extreme before? No, it's not extreme. Where's extremeness? Well, you know, you gotta really, really, really bend. It's like you're trying to find it. I guess. That was a terrible example. <laughs> no. Can we go to the definition of an extreme sport? Really. It's gotta be extreme. Ballet ain't extreme, sweet. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, it could be a sport. I mean, I will watch ballet dancers beat the dog shit out of each other, but <laughs> if you just talk a regular ballet, no, that can't be no extreme sport. That's that's boring as hell, I'm not gonna lie to you. You would genuinely pay to watch ballet dancers just go up Hell yes, I will pay to watch two just ballet dance dancers ballet. dance and fight. Like dance two ballet dancers and hockey yes. gear with blades everywhere. Bingo. Just knuckling it up. I'd watch the hell out of that. That's not nice. I'm just saying. You ask me. That's my opinion. You're going to make it an extreme sport? You got to put some extreme in there. Hell yes, I'll watch women and men play football together. Here, I, believe I, believe I believe in equality. I believe in equality. I'm going to keep this. It's okay, I believe in equality. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm all for equality now. I wouldn't dare tell somebody they can't do something because they got a vagina. <laughs> if you want to strap up and get on the field with them big, dumb motherfucking men and hit each other, huh. hey, I'm entertained by it. Like, That's all I'm saying. Women's football, I don't think anything's really about women's football. They would get no. so emotional. I mean, here's a women's football. Oh, no, sorry. I'm going to have to keep that one. I'm not looking again. Uh, okay, uh, looks like we're all ready, so Pure Nights, you are first. So Let's do it. Hurt playing with man, get hurt playing with me. I'm going to play a Planes, tap that for land tax. Nice. You said men get hurt playing with men, imagine how hurt men would get. Imagine how hurt any men would get. I think that's why they split the split. Uh, Mountain Pass. Uh, Johnny? It's kind of weird talking about men and women sports split up because I don't know. People right. think we are going to play a planes and then we are going to play a fast turn. Okay. Draw. I'm going to play Temple of Deceit. I just tapped. I scry one. Uh, we will leave that on top and I will pass. <coughs> Draw. Uh, I'll play attack, castle, and birth, and I'll pass. Okay, draw for turn. And I will planes for turn. Tap two for a talisman of conviction. And that's it. 
draw. Uh, drop a swamp. And then we're gonna play a thumbotic compass. Got uh, a nice card. And then we pass. I'm seeing uh, not a lot of fair magic. Tab y'all keep draw. Land return will be uh, my Cradle of Growth. Everybody has forests, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, and then I'll pay two for Farseek. I believe I have the Triumph, so I will go grab that and pass. Do your tax for trigger. Yep. Works for me, bucko. I'm going to go grab a planes. Uh, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand. I not actually have the triumph? <laughs> or is it just all the way at the top of the deck? Uh, looks like I don't actually have the triumph in this one, so I will. Instead, since yeah, I don't have, yeah. I don't have the triumph. Yeah. Shuffle. Camera, I guess. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna tap three for a drum builder. In case I was mumbling too much, uh, I do not have the Triumph, so I grabbed a Watery Grave instead. Okay. I'm going to Interplanar Beacon for turn. Uh, for one mana, I can add two mana of different colors for Planeswalker spells only. Um, and then... I will... Tap everything. I'll do colorless here so I don't take the damage. And I'll play Guff, my commander. And I will plus one him for a wizard. And I'll pass. I'm going to be right back. Okay. Draw. Okay. I will play that mountain, and we're going to tap three to tap this. Search your library for a basic land card reveal, put it in your hand, show your library. And then I pass. Okay. Draw. I will play an island. That's my line for turn. Oh, and to make. I will pay three. For Kodama's Reach, I will grab an Island and a Swamp, and I will pass. Uh, island to the battlefield, and Swamp to my hand. Alright, my attacks trigger. Swamp to my I'll hand. grab another Mountain and Swamp. Island to the battlefield tap. Sons of Vanguard. Um, I'm going to combat. I'll send two with your planes, Walker. Flying. All right. I'll block with the wizard. No, the wizard will die. Is that flying? <laughs> oh, all right. Flying. Um, 
Yeah, it's two one four. Ford of the Planeswalker, I guess. It's four, right? No, no, it's two. It's just two. Oh, okay. It only gives the tokens yeah. double strike. Uh, right. Yeah. Then I'll pass and untap it. It untaps itself? Yep, all creatures are control untapped during each other players untap, untap step. Oh, that's a uh, drum bellower. Yeah. I completely forgot drum bellower has flying. It doesn't feel like it should, but I mean, it's a spirit. All right, fits this deck perfectly. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna island for turn. Um, I'm gonna minus three guts. He'll go to one to draw one. Everyone will take one. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna tap colorless, blue, white. And two more colorless for an oath of Teferi. It's an enchantment. Um, when it ETBs, I can exile another permanent that I control. Um, it returns at the beginning of the next end step, um, and it lets me activate Planeswalker abilities twice. So I'll blink Guff and pass turn. Card. Play that mountain that I went searching for. And then I am gonna play my sad robot. Solemn Soloquel. Enter the battlefield, search library, base plan, put the battlefield to. And then I pass turn. Yep. On tap. Keep draw. I will play a forest. It's my land for turn. I'll pay four mana for abundance. I will pass my turn. And uh, Thari, your way wind. Okay. Um, with Nayeli and the token that comes in. And then I'll send Drum Bellower over at Point Walker again for two. Okay. So I'm taking everything except Drum, Bell uh, Drum Bellower? Yeah, correct? you'll take six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And damn. Um, and then I'll pass. Okay. That ramp tax kicking in. All right, I'll draw for turn. Oh, going. To I mean, on. if I don't ramp, I don't get to do much. The deck is a little bit mana intensive. Which means you're going to be scary later. All right. Exactly. Um, let's see. I'm going to tap two colorless. Uh, no, I'm not. I'll tap uh, planes and a colorless. Or an Azorius Signet. And... Uh, Four more mana, so I can use my my wizard. 
Let's tap him. And three mana for Jace, Architect of Thought. Um, I'm going to swap one Commodore Guff twice. And I'm gonna minus two Jace, and then uh, actually, I think I'm gonna plus two Jace uh, or plus one Jace twice. So until your next turn, whenever in a creature an opponent control attacks, it gets minus one minus zero until end of turn. Um, so that'll happen twice. Everything will get minus two, minus zero when it swings. Um, I'll move to my end step, and uh, with Commodore Guff's passive, I'll plus one Jace again. So he'll be at seven. And uh, I I'm not going to ult with Jace. I mean, you guys can still swing at him like normal, but I'm not. I'm not doing that ability on a spell table game. So just a FYI. And I'll pass. Which one is that? Uh, it lets me like play cards from y'all's libraries. I'm not about to. Uh, that. For, yeah, for the for the minus eight, he tutors for one card from each of us and can cast it without paying its cost. But yeah, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, God damn. Yeah, on spell table, it's a nice. Yeah, on spell table, it means we have to show our entire deck to everybody. Yeah. And that just gets messy on screen. Well, we just did that in the last game. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's it's not quite the same thing when we're we got the entire deck at once. <laughs> I'm doing I'm a every plane. card in everyone's library via webcam. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna cast anger. Oh. He is angry. He's very angry. He is very very. Very angry. Um, it's his whole identity. Yeah. He doesn't know what to be if I he's not think, angry. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do besides pass my turn. Yep, that's it. Okay. Untap upkeep for abundance. I am going to choose non land. Okay, so I get a rampant growth. Um,. So I'm going to play uh, Fabled Passage. I'm going to... I'll cast... I'll cast the Rampant Growth first, and then... Oh. Uh, I'll crack the Fabled Passage at the same time, so I'll just go get two basics. One comes in untapped, technically. Well, it comes in tapped, then untaps. Swamp, and you know what, we'll just do a full swamps. And one of them, the one from the Fabled Passage, untaps itself. And did I play a land for... Tr no, I did not. I went straight to the... Oh no, I did the Fabled Passage, yeah. Okay. That is. Yeah, five. Yeah. I'll pass. I'll do three for Sword of Light and Shadow. 
We'll do two to equip it. Put it on the thorn. That's protection from it's a two two. We we'll get it a two two as protection from white and black. And then uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, I can gain three life and return up to one target for each card in the graveyard to my hand. I don't have shit in my graveyard. All right, uh, other combat. I'll send we get negative two, so it'll equal out. I'll send. Uh, notably, Three, because it's on the attack, the creature, uh, the tokens that come in will not be affected. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking about which ones I can swing out, because if I swing out the other two, or, you know, this one, it'll die. But I need to swing these tokens in order to do something, so I'm going to go after Jace. <laughs> I'll send uh, five that gets taken down to three in the area. Jace, um, getting up experience counter, create two, two. Um, that are also going to Jace. So you got three and eight double strike. Well, four double strike now to eight. Going to eight. Are you blocking at all, Rexius? Oh, sorry. You sent uh, so you sent, you sent five a... in the air and then what else? Uh, you got what? three in the air coming your way, and then you got eight double strike coming one your way. Uh, oh, well, uh, it's four double strike, so eight total. Right. Okay. Um, what's giving the token so much? Um, Naomi. That's yeah. And they always giving them double strike. Authority's making them. Create a two-two red rebel creature token. It's tapped and attacking. Uh, but that's getting minus two, isn't it? Uh, because you... they are coming in already attacking, they are not being declared as attackers. Jace doesn't minus them. Correct. Right. Um, exactly. All right. Then I guess Jace does. It gets around that and things like propaganda and all that shit that you gotta pay to attack people. All right. I'll have a um, I'll gain one, two, three, and then I'll pass. One tap. So I'll just add those three over to you. <coughs> Hmm. Well, so I'll land for turn. I'm going to I will plus one guff and minus three guff. It'll end up going to three. So I'll get another wizard. Let's do this. There's four of them. Um, and then I'll draw one. Everybody will take one. I'm going to tap two, three. Or for a displacer kitten. Oh, I recognize this card. And then I will tap three, one white. So I'll take one for an idyllic tutor. Um, when that ETBs, I'll blink guff. So he'll come back in with five. And that is absurd with the Oath of the Fairy. Yeah, that's yeah. a good synergy. It's good. I don't have anything. I don't have any. It's good to have all those colors helping. Well, right now, the only things flying are Othari and the Drum Bellower. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go get a Spiteful Banditry. Good card. Hmm. Good card. 
I have that in this deck. Uh, the X enchantments are always weird, but they do pretty good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I don't think Gus going to make it to my next turn. So I'm going to minus three him again and plus one him again. Uh, so we'll end up at three. I'll one draw life. one more card. Everyone will take one more damage. I'm going to shuffle a little more. And then uh, I'll pass after that. I'm going to shuffle and draw them. Alrighty. One Magic the Gathering card. That's a good one. We're going to play a Rogue's Passage for turn. And then, and then, and then, and then, I'm going to be playing there and back again. One, two, three, four. That's a saga that says first time up to one target creature can't block for as long as you control there and back again. And then the ring tempts you. Um so let me find the stupid ring card. I got a Garagorn deck right here. Oh, okay. What creature, if any, cannot block until there and back again leaves? And then this says Ring Bear is legendary, can't be blocked by creatures of greater power. Oh, wait. So the first one, and that's the first one. And does anybody have one creature total on their board? I have Stop no the creatures. Creature? The other two have many creatures. Oh. Um, do you have a creature blocking for your planeswalkers? Go. No, I mean, not against flying. Um, I have no flyers. Uh, well, I'm going to stop the flyer from blocking if you have a creature. So I'm going to choose that one. And then I am going... Which one? I got two flyers. Wait, you got Thar, and then you got Drum Bellor. Oh, sorry. Well, I guess the one that's not a token. Neither of them are tokens. Both of them are tokens. No, I, I, don't, have, I don't have any flyers. Oh, I, I, I was, I was, I, I thought the sorry, I thought Commander Guff had creatures. That's why. Oh, Commander Guff has. He has five mage tokens that can tap for red. Uh, we spent for planeswalkers. Okay, and the blue card is that not a creature? Oh, oh, that is a creature. Yes. Okay, I'm That's choosing the whatever that blue card is. Yes, okay. Displacer Kitten to not block this turn. Okay, Displacer Kitten cannot block this turn. At. Well, until there and back again leaves. Oh, yes. Actually, yeah. Up to... Can't block until this leaves. Okay, yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna send the Solemn Solalacrum and the Anger at the Commander Gut. Alright, I'll block with two wizards. So one in front of each of them. Mm -hmm. And then... Can't play that, can't play that, and I cannot play that, so I will pass the draw. Okay. Untap, upkeep. When I go to draw, I will choose non-land again for abundance. Leyline of the Void. Play Island for turn. And then two, four, six, seven. I will attempt to cast Damia. And that will be all for my turn. I'll pass.
Four canvas banner. ATBs. It'll create a two-two and attach itself to it. Ooh, I need to get one of those. I have a Kemba deck. Oh, you gotta pick that there. That's a really good card. I got a Kemba deck too, but I mixed it with a uh, battle hammer and made a equipment deck. Kind of equipment Voltron deck. Yeah, I got. It. I got Kemba Voltron, and it's got a, a little bit of a cat sub theme, like some stuff that cares about cats. But mostly right. it's Voltron. Cats are really OP. Cats are really OP in this game. In this damn game, currently. Oh, one Hold on one second, buddy. Um, I'll do you. I'll do three. And I'll attach that to Atari as well. Okay, so Athari is now stupidly Three, big. Six, seven. So it gets a seven, seven, eight, nine, twelve. So it's a twelve, twelve. Hey, Daddy. Uh, one second, man. We play my turn out really quick, and then I got you. But a little attacks. Um, I'll send Athari in the area way wind. It's gonna have three of them coming in. I'll have. Um, I'll have those three go at your planeswalker, and then I'll have these three rebels go over there to Johnny. So now I have no blocks. So the so I just have there. a Thurry coming in at me for uh, like 15, I think. 15. Yep. I am now at 12 with 18 commander damage from Othari. And then gain another three, two, three. Oh boy. Right, uh, I will pass and untap. What's Othari's health at? Oh wait, Johnny, are you blocking? I didn't hear Johnny, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, how much did you hit me with? You had uh, three two two double strikers coming your way. No, six total. Ah, yeah, god damn, it'll stop it. All right, six life. One. You're telling him to stop it for six. I got just, I just got smacked for fifteen. Whoa, oh whoa, no, it'll, it'll whoa, be twelve. They got double strike. Whoa, 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 whoa. It'll be twelve for you, Johnny. They got double strike. Oh, oh right, see? three. Ow. Right, because right, three two twos. That's six. They have see? double strike from see? the see? Ow. Ow. The upgrade below. I'm not zeroing now. Uh, Actually, okay. ooh, wait, oh, wait, 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 so I just lost all right. that life, but for math yep. calculation, I'm going to tap one and put, condemn one of them that's attacking me, and you can gain life right. equal to their toughness. So if okay. one of them minus the damage from one of them, how much is that? Uh, that would um, be clear. Yeah. So just go back up to me. Oh, no. It would be... No, no, I'm saying Actually, no, I just, I'm I just you, would, you would life, have four so extra life. How much life do I get back? Okay, that's what yeah, I'm trying so to So you would have 8 damage coming your way versus 12. Right, so I'm at 20. So and Pure Ignorance right. will gain 2 because it's based on toughness, not damage. That would have been yeah. dealt. Yeah. Yeah. Go down to 5. Um, 
Uh, Rex, you still um, muted, bro. There we go. Yeah, sorry, I'm doing my mana calculations here. So I drew. Um, I'm going to the City of Brass for a turn uh, as my land. Um, so this is uh, two mana, uh, three mana, and I guess I'll just do an island. So that's six. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna play Guff again. Uh, I gain one life. Um, I will. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna plus one and minus three Guff. So I'll draw. Everybody will take one. I am now down to 11. I need to get something uh -huh. here. Who, who hit you for so much and damage? And then uh, I'm going to tap. Your ignorance. Two, three, four, five. Uh, so I'll take one from that. That's two red. So that's three and four so that's two red and four additional mana for a spiteful banditry for four when it etbs i'll flicker guff that's four damage to each creature right uh yeah. sorry four what's four, so when it when it enters the battlefield what is allowing you to flicker guff uh, the Displacer Kitten. I thought the Displacer would. Oh, non-creature spell. Okay, so it's when you cast. Non -creature. Yeah. When you cast, so before before that even happens, Guff is already back. So yeah, Guff has just been flickered. Yeah. Yeah. So he gets flickered. Then this comes in. Okay. Well, Damia dies, and that basically kills any hope of me finding the thing I need. About four damage. So, two, and then my tokens are dead, too. And then I get a treasure from that. Uh, anger and... Uh, sad anger robot. and Sad Robot are both dead as well. Johnny? Mm -hmm. I get to draw a card off of that, thank you. Um, right. and then, uh, I will, uh, I guess plus one and minus three guff again, so everybody will take one and I'll draw one. Yeah, a ten. And I will pass. Uh, your turn, Johnny. Oh, I was waiting for the little circle. Okay. <laughs> Draw. This goes to the next one. Search the library for a mountain. Put it on the battlefield. Then shuffle. Doesn't say tapped. Just says battlefield. None of those are mountains. That's awesome. Let's see. That's a mountain. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. And then we're gonna play an Academy Manufacturer for three. And 
then I'm going to play Dihada. Finder of Wills. Um, and then she enters with five counters. Um, and then I'm going to choose to do her negative three. Putting her down at two. And I get to reveal one, two, three. Oh, I just ripped that fucking sleeve. Oh, that sucks. I just ripped that sleeve wide open. One, two, three, four cards. A, a mountain. Swamp, the land, and a sorcery. That sucks, Dick. But not really, because now I get four treasure tokens, which then creates four treasure tokens, four clues, and four food off of the Academy Manufacturer. Uh, I don't have a clue, so I'll just write a clue. Oh. Right, I got four of those bitches. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I'm going to. Yeah, no. I'm gonna play a greed for those four treasures. Which then will allow me to pay one black and two life to draw cards. Um and that's my turn, I pass. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw a card for abundance, I'm gonna choose non land. Ink tax is core order. Play a swamp is my land for turn. Does not get me. Two, five, eight, nine. Tommy is back. That's my turn. And I think I just die. Because of course, I only drew my ramp and not a single one of my control pieces. You should have never warned him. Should have never what? I say you should have never warned him that you were controlled today. I mean, it's soul tie. That's... Yeah, true. You could have just lied and said, I'm a draw a card deck. I mean... <laughs> like... Hey man, I, I, I'm, I'm usually doing threat assessment and I thought Damien would actually... That's what I'm saying, is... I'm just thinking that maybe like that's the reason they were that's attacking. That's just mainly into. I've been going back yeah. and forth, with, and okay. now we gotta go after you two, John. Um, we got to, man. Fair, something fair. Taking it. It's only fair. Uh, you, 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 you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll tap five for hex plate wall breaker. Creates uh, another creature that gets attached to it. Um, Go home, spell table, you're drunk. It's calling that thing a scrubland. <laughs> uh, Hexplate Wallbreaker is an artifact equipment that has four 
Mirrodin, of course, creates a 2-2 Rebel Creature token. That gets attached to. Equip Creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and whenever Equip Creature attacks, if it's the first combat after this turn, untap each attacking creature after this phase is an additional combat phase. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tap Stray of Stronghold and Mountain and Plains to give them Vigilance and Haste until the end of the turn. Um, I'll go to combat. So it'll be 3... Four, five, six, seven. Right. It'll be seven for now. Right, yep. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'll send a Thario away wind. Four. Those four going your way, Arxius. And I got hex plate going in. What is Academy Manufacturer? It is on three. I got hex plate going at the Hada. And then that. How big is hex plate? These things. Hex plate is the four four. Indeed. That'll be yeah. uh, eleven going your way, so uh, sovereign. And then you got three, yeah, six, right. two, four, six, eight. You got eight coming at your uh, commander, um, Arceus. And then, Johnny, you got uh, four coming your way. Yep. You okay. sent it at Dehada, uh, right? Specifically? Yes, yeah, Dehada. Yep, Dehada. Right. She is um, gone, so. All right. It'll be 10. One more. Then I'll go to combat again. I'll send Sorry. And the hex plater over at you, Arxius. Arexius? Arexius, let's go with that. Um, uh, it'll be 11 for now, but it's going to change because it's going to go up 5. It'll be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It'll be 15 coming your way. Um, and then I'll send those four your way as well. And then the five that come in, tap in the tracking and go your way, Johnny. So you got 15 air that's coming your way. Rexius with one, two, three, four, two, twos. And then Johnny, you got five, two, twos. And a uh, four, four coming your way. So I'll lose 10 or 14? You lose four. You, you, you lose um, 10, 14. All right. I'm going to go ahead and lose 14. And then it'll be another 15. Then I'll put Naeli in hand. Um, that's my creature with Lothari's ability. <coughs> I should have to discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have to discard. I will discard Ellie. Her breather busy body. And then I'll pass. Game over. All right. Let's draw for turn. And it's not a board wipe, so GG. I'm going to scoop. Yeah. GG's brother, you got it. I don't got a board wipe either. I actually, I'll have a smaug on the board, but it'll die and your damage is going to add up. That's what Boros does. It whips ass quickly. I like it. Bingo. Yeah. GG fellas. I've gotten two propaganda effects, two board wipes, nine counter spells, and I didn't draw any of it. Really? That's the one thing that the Boros has for it, it's that it's quick and it, the whole point is to get to attack and right away. Yep, good aggression. No I had I only got two two uh board wipes in my fucking deck and I drew them both. And I was like, I'm not gonna play those. I'm not playing those. That is what it is. But GG fellas. Yeah. The game. The game. The game. Yeah. Dude said fuck that I'm out of here. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to switch out though, Oh, 
boy stop whining. I don't know if he broke the lobby or not. We may have to recreate it. Possibly. <laughs> oh, hey Johnny Tanzanator. Thanks for hitting that follow button. Thank you, Johnny. There you go, brother. I meant to do that earlier, but I forgot. Let's try and open this, go down this region, this will be too out of the deck. Alright, good game, boys. I gotta, I gotta hop off for a little bit. Alright. Alright, man. Good games, good games. Good game, bro. Yeah. Have fun? Yeah, so I'm gonna try to make in the lobby. Same name. Yeah, go ahead and make a new one, Six to eight casual ADH. Yeah, if you so hop back in, I'll see you there. Alright, but I'll jump again. Welcome back. You know, they just gone to me. I missed so many fucking triggers. Off of that damn uh, rebel that gave me double tap. I mean, a uh, double tap. Because I was supposed to, when I went back to attack with the actual tokens, the regular attack. Uh -huh. Declaration. When I was supposed to exile the top card, I can cast it, but I fucking forgot. But it's all good. Let's reach in here and stretch around in here. You guys can go back in. Surprise people aren't just hopping in. Normally it feels up right. quick when you make a new room. Seems slow today. Yeah. All right, kind of slow today. Nobody's playing. I noticed that I jumped back on. But I came more early, nobody was doing it. Hello, Bum Bucks. Hello. I'll put you in her dragons and then I'll swap you out. Hello, Zach. Hey, what's up? three times to get the order. One, two, three. Sleeves are dog shit for shuffling. Hmm. Which ones are you using? The Commander Guff with a flat finish. Huh. I don't even I don't even know what they're called. I just use single, uh, you know, plain plain color ones, but I use the Eclipse sleeves. They well, 
normally when I'm not using these sleeves anyway. And they shuffle fine for me. Yeah, I got a bunch of Dragon Shield ones, and they are night and day difference. I used to use Dragon Shield, but like five different packs of Dragon Shield, I was having problems with them splitting down the side. Really? Yeah. I've heard their quality. Something. These are brand new, and I had to get them to the Sea Creatures deck, so Dragon Shield has nice, perfect ones. I'm going to mulligan that. Yeah, no, I'd heard I'd heard great things about Dragon Shield, so I'm like, all right, I'll do Dragon Shield. But then, some like, some like four or five of my decks were starting to get split sleeves, and they were different packs of sleeves. So I don't know. That's annoying. Swapped over to Ultra Pro, and I haven't had any problems with splitting. I'm gonna mulligan myself here. So I mean, my off. only problem in complete well, Ultra Pro. Is all of my corners on every single one of my Ultra Pros? It does this corner peel shit. Let me side shuffle. Like the very edges are like filled up just a little bit, and it gets caught when I side shuffle, and I fucking hate it. Yeah, I haven't run into that. Ooh, I can't do shit with this hand. I'm gonna take a free one. Bought these on Black Friday for two bucks. Oh, I want so much to keep that hand, and I just can't. Bitch, go in, do that thing. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Slippery as I don't really like it, but I'll keep it. I am good whenever anybody else, everybody else is. Okay, that hand I can keep, so I do have to put two cards back, because I did three mulligans. No, wait. Oh no, I did the free and then one extra, I only have to put one card back. That one back. Okay, so I'm... I believe we're all set. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so no, let me know again. Okay. 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 One more. This is trash. You can go ahead and play it. I'm gonna just. This fucking hand is terrible. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and lay a swamp, anyways, unless something changes here. It's gonna yeah. be. Do you think? Uh, Starkwater Catacombs. And I'll pass whenever you're ready. Yep. So. Right. Yeah, I will keep this and I will put you underneath and then I'll draw. Play a tap temple gardens and pass. Draw. Gonna play a tap breeding. <clears throat> <laughs> Notice in a paper. Uh, yeah, buddy. One. Uh, one for two. For a tap sky diamond. I had had myself muted. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that you're up. Uh, all right. Come on, untap. We got a lot of tap stuff going on. Though. Nice fair magic. Okay. I'm going to do an island, and then I'm going to do two to a fair war stone, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Draw. Island path. Okay. Untap, upkeep, okay. draw. I'm going to play an island. Pay two for an Azorius Signet and pass. Untap, upkeep, drawer. Uh, let's go with a swap. And. Uh, 
uh, one for a soul ring. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go black, blue, and two for will hilt. And pass. Draw. 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 Six. I'm gonna pass. I'll take this. Draw. Do an island. We'll tap three for Kodamo's Greek and pass turn. Okay. Add up. Keep draw. I'll play um, reflecting pool. Forest. I think forest. I'll pay four for Kaikar. I'll pass. Tap up, keep draw. <clears throat> um, one, two. Uh, one, two, three for Liliana's Mastery. Zombies get plus one, plus one, and I create two tapped, not tapped tokens. Uh, end of my turn, I will sacrifice one of these zombies. It'll come back as decay to draw a card. And that is it. Right. Oh, I could have attacked, whatever. Okay. Yeah, he said he had to go take a piss or something. Yep. He, yep, yep, so yep. It shouldn't be too long. Where are you guys from? Um, around DC area. What about you guys? East Coast, United States, yeah. East Coast, Canada. Yeah. Up in uh, Northeast US. <laughs> Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, I'm not going to pass. Okay. Draw. Island, one, two, three, four, five. For Curia, Sovereign of the Deep. And pass. There can only be one Sovereign. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Alright, I am... I'm gonna play Island. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four. Uh, no. One, two, three, four. I mean, that one up. For uh, Narset Transcendent. Enters with six loyalty. Uh, I am going to. Plus one to look at the top card of my library. The non-creature, non-land, I can put it into my hand. Or I can reveal it and put it into my hand. It is going to stay there. Uh, on cast, I make a spirit. And uh, I don't really do attacking in this deck, so I'll pass. Here are my spirits. I will lay an island. Okay, I will. Um, oh, sovereign, you're froze there. Am I frozen? Sovereign, sorry. Yeah. Am I? Yep. You're on my screen. Anybody else see him frozen? Hand in the middle of the yeah, screen. Yeah, you're definitely frozen on my screen. Your hand's like, yeah. Already huh. sitting here. Odd, because it's not frozen on my end. Uh, let's see. Can I refresh myself yeah, without leaving? I refresh the page. That's all of it. Uh, you're still black right now. Your screen is you gotta do the, yeah, it's the same thing happens to me. You got to copy your address bar, 
close on it when I exit out, then open up a new window, copy paste, and go back to it. Spell has been doing that shit to me for like a month. Good? Are we good now? Nope. Oh, you're still black. Yeah, yeah this is, it, it had something to do with their last update. Like, you got a. Yeah, I. So fucking weird. I opened a new window. And... Maybe you have to close your whole browser out and copy, though. Yeah, you gotta close out your browser. Like, you gotta open. You like, you oh, gotta completely close the browser. browser. Okay. Yeah, completely close the browser and do it. All right. Be right back. The only way to... uh, okay, I just got went and grabbed another. Oh, I want you to look at this. Uh, I... oh. Come on. Fucking drop. What do you to look at this page? I'm working on my Earth Dragon deck. Oh, that shit's still fucked up. That's terrible. What? So, yeah, it's just not like that. Camera fucked. Maybe unplug and plug your camera in. I I just don't yeah, know what's going on because it's fine on my end. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's spell table. Like, it's just, it's buggy as hell. Ooh, all right. I'm, I'm going to refresh to... mine. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I'm going to do it, though. <laughs> I, I unplugged the camera and I plugged it back in, and it's just not. Oh, go black. Yeah, no, now it's black on my end, but I, that's after I unplugged and replugged the camera. Any, anything now? Nope. I mean, you did say there can only oh, be one stopper. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, I'm, seeing two, I'm seeing two bumper. Just, just make a make a new table, and then we'll join that table. Hopefully, that'll. Work. Nah, it's just spell table. It's just buggy as hell. All right, I'll make a new one then. Make a new one. Call it sovereign, okay. sovereign wind or something. Okay. Sweet. Still black. Still black? Why? I don't know why. My camera's on. It's showing up on my spell table. It's showing up on my stream. Wait, is it not strong? No, it's not Oh, no, there it is. I don't understand. This literally doesn't make a bit of sense. A different USB port, maybe? Well, I mean, if you're seeing it on the stream on his computer, it's not the USB port. Yeah, maybe. yeah, it's coming through. It's, it's definitely spells. Like maybe stop. Maybe stop. Maybe that's like weird, shitty. Uh, and I mean, because I'm seeing on my end, and I'm seeing it on the streams end. And you guys are the ones not seeing me. I know. Yeah, it's a spell table bug. Yeah, spell table is shit. I get hit with that shit with like at least at least four to five times a day. I gotta go through that. Same Why are you zooming in so far on your? <laughs> I was just curious on how close I could zoom in and see what it looked like. It actually looks really damn good. Yeah, it's good quality. Uh, no, it's my phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm using uh, Droid, Cam, Droid Cam X. How the hell do I end up fixing this, though? There's some, I have to swap the port, X out the browser, copy it and load it. I have to load much shit for it to work. I don't know. Maybe... Like stop video, start video on the on spell table. Oh, uh, maybe. You, you see me now? Negative. Nope. Nothing, brother. The fuck. Try, I guess just reset your computer and remain the lobby. We'll join later on. But 
try to reset it and see if it'll just work itself out that way. I'll try the I'll try swapping the port first. USB port. Yeah. <coughs> Which you wouldn't think it would make a difference, but spell table. Do you guys see anything? Can, can you guys see me at all? What? Is my mic not even being kept up now? Any, any, anything? Are we get, getting anything now? Nothing. No. Fuck. There's not going to be any way for me to fix this without restarting everything. You try a different browser? Like uh, Firefox instead of Chrome? Or I'm using Firefox. Do you have Chrome installed? You know, it may be a Firefox issue because I use Firefox too, and I, you're the only other person that I've heard run into this issue since mm -hmm. me. So it may just be a Firefox issue because if I have it this extreme, I switch over to uh, Edge and it works just fine. Edge. Yeah, unfortunately, which fucking sucks, but it doesn't run into this bug. I use Edge at work. It's really good. It integrates good with the Microsoft Office yeah, suites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, that's the only place I use it. I'm hoping you fix it because I'm feeling really good about my board state and what's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please. Please. <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to fucking blow up here. <laughs> Getting right. Oh, I'm trying to load into the Copy. Maybe it's because the room's open. Or... Yeah. Yeah, I probably have to close Firefox completely. Copy paste. Probably. Oh, hey. oh, look at that. Oh, is it back now? Back. Got ya. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm on Chrome. Oh, you're muted, though. I don't know if you're talking to us. I'm not you muted. Put something just to make sure it's not frozen. Move something on your board. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Now. But we can't hear you. Yeah, it's just muted now. <laughs> He fixed his camera and broke his mic. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> what? Why did they go black oh, on my... Hey, hey. You're not, you're not black now. No, and now I'm no. black on my screen now. Are you frozen? Wave your hand out there. Nothing. Yeah, I'm on my screen on black. Refresh again. Oh, okay. You're back. Am I? You guys can hear me. I can, I can hear, hear you. Yeah. Okay. And we can see you move. Okay. <laughs> oh fucking time, Jesus. Does All right, I think we're good. Um, I was first. I was last. Pure thirty-one was second. Uh, yeah, I think it was it was Bumpus pure or uh, Bumpugs pure ignorance Zach me. Now, can I manipulate the players to be in that order? I don't know if you can manipulate them. I think you just got to randomize it until you get it. Can you manipulate them? Uh, you can. Oh, wait, drag, you go I can, to, I can yeah, drag can. Play, to, people uh... to be in their turn order. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
There we go. All right, we're good. And it was... Will it was my Hunt. attack phase, because I was getting ready to go after the Planeswalker. <laughs> ah, I see. That's why I wanted to stop and get your camera fixed, because I didn't know what that token was. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I got the 3-3 three, three Kai Car and a 1-1 one, one Flying Spirit. I'm going to come at your Planeswalker with both of my 3-3 three, three Zombies. Okay. I will block one of them with the spirit. And okay. then the planeswalker will take three and go to four. Okay. Uh, this guy will die because he's decayed. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, four. A grave spawn, sovereign. Tap five zombies to put a creature from my graveyard onto the battlefield okay. from a graveyard hmm oh. interesting he's a four four no, now there's three sovereigns stop it <laughs> oh shit i didn't even realize that <laughs> yeah let's go. um and before my turn is over zach yours seems kind of scary i don't like that one at all what your sovereign your commander my sovereign's fine. It's a sea creature attack. Uh, I'll just pass the turn. All right. Walking yeah. privately. Uh, Vault of Champions. Tell us two more opponents, which I have enough opponents. Three, four, two. <clears throat> I'm going to tap four for Master of Ceremonies. At the beginning of my upkeep, you guys can either make a treasure token, a 1-1, one, one, or draw a card. If you, if you to do, I can do the same. And then I'll pass. Hmm. Okay. So, untap, upkeep. What, what are the, my choices? Oh, uh, well, it's at his upkeep. Oh, no, no, it's on my upkeep. Oh, on your upkeep. It's only on my upkeep. I'll let okay. you know again, Zach. Yeah, you're good. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to play Castle Garenbrig. Um, so I will activate it. Does it really make it doesn't make a difference, frankly. But sure. We will tap for two green and two blue to activate that. To put six green. Actually, doesn't, doesn't even make sense. I'll just hard cast it. Right, because six, and then I don't have to do that. No, no, it, 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 yeah, it, it really, it really does not matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, or six green and a blue. So we'll, we'll just tap for six. I will cast icy gyre of tyrant straits. On cast, I get to look at the top six and play something less than six. Less than X, cast a spell. Um, yeah. I'll cast a, a Lightning Grace. And then these go bo bottom deck on in a random order. Oh, uh, sorry, what allowed you to play the Lightning Greaves? Shoot my commander. When I cast a sea creature, I get to look at the CMC on the top and then cast it without something smaller than that. Oh, like a, you a C sea monster creature. cascade. Okay. Yeah, sea monster cascade. Okay. I'll put the Greaves for zero onto. In response to you attempting to do that, I'm going to tap yeah. this for white and I'm going to pass the AC. Okay. Um, huh. uh, so you get basic. I got a basic, cool. And on cast, I get a new spirit. Okay. I really should have uh, tapped, right? Um, okay, cool. Then I will not play my second land for turn because the PC is dead. I will try to put the Grieve on Jeria then because that's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass turn. <laughs> All right. Untap, upkeep, 
draw. First and foremost, I'm gonna plus Narset. Look at the top. It's a non-land, non-creature I can put in my hand. It's gonna stay there. Don't like that. So, I'm going to play planes as the land for turn. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Aether Flux Reservoir. Mm -hmm. On cast, I get a new spirit. And I will pass the. Untap. Okay. I will. What's the creature you got out there, uh, Tier 31? Master Ceremonies 3 4. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Sovereign, I'm going to um, destroy your commander. Go for the throat. <sighs> yeah, I can't do anything about that. Goes back um, to command then, I'm, then I'm going to attack um Planeswalker with... You get two one ones, right? Yeah. Uh, with those guys. 4-4, four, four, a 3-3, three, three, and a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I'll block the two 4-4s. Four, four the 3-3 three, three gets through. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get through my cards. <laughs> but you get... Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to get through mine. I'm going to sacrifice this guy at the end of turn to make a decayed zombie yeah, to draw a card. And then you're going through what he mad as hell, you can't play. <laughs> Alright, you know, they're throwing toys and shit because the game won't load up. Alright, guys. Make a treasure, draw a card, or make a 1 1. Um, uh, Zach, you first. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to also choose oh, yeah. to draw Sorry. a card. All right, I'm gonna draw three. One. All of us chose to draw cards. Three. All right. <laughs> I am for it because I need a land. All right, I'm gonna draw a turn. And... I'm going to. Um, sorry, I need some help here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flash in an Orcish Bowmaster before you draw your card. I know you already pulled it, but. But you drew your okay. first card from us, so I get to deal the damage to something. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm going to deal okay. it right to right to Zach's face. My face? I think you should yeah. do it to uh, uh, the person with the Aether Flux to keep him under 40, under 50. He's not going to get 10 turns. I'll just wipe this shit out. Right to Zach's face. Right to Zach's face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I amass one. All right, I do Urza Saga. Oh, shit. I'm gonna tap four for Gale Potter Mage. And I'm going to pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Okay. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I gotta discard one now. I'm gonna discard down as well and watch. Hmm. What do we got going on here? I think we'll go ahead and tap for one, two, three. Four, five, four, a biblioplex kraken, and trigger curia. One, two, three, four, five. I get to play a card of less than, okay, less than five, and that will be a uh, cultivate. So I'll go ahead and go and find myself two lands, do an island. Uh, by forest. the way, it, did you put AC in your graveyard? Yeah, it's not my commander. Right, right, but I, I cast Path. That's an exile effect. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yep, that is correct. It is exiled. Good catch. Um, so island to battlefield, forest to hand. I have two mana. No, and I have not played land per turn. So I will go ahead and play my land per turn. And I think that's got to be it. I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. You're going to plus one again. I'm going to reveal, preordain, put it into my hand. Let's see. Land for turn is going to be mountain. Going to let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Recast Icar. Mm -hmm. And that is the first spell I cast this turn, so I will gain one off of Aetherflux. Mm Ordain is a sorcery, so I'm going to go ahead and cast it now. I'll gain two from Aether Flux. I'll get a spirit off the cast from Kaikar. And I will scry two and draw a card. Drawing a card will trigger Orcus Bowmasters. I'll deal you one damage to the face. Okay. And then amass uh, an orc. And... I'm going to leave them... Both on top. All that one. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to go one, two, one, two, three for Noxious Ghoul. Uh, when he enters the battlefield or another zombie comes into play, all non-zombies 
get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Oh, that's going to kill my dude. That wasn't very smart. That wasn't very smart at all. That kills my workers' bowmaster. But I'm still playing him. Everything gets minus one, minus one. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I mean, spirit dies. And he gets plus one, plus one. And with my leftover mana, I will not do that. Um, one, two, three, 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 three. I don't know why this is a three. It's a one. I will come at your planeswalker again with a three, three decayed. Okay. It dies. I'm blocking that. And the zombie dies. Uh, that's it for my turn. This kind of nice. Hmm. I'll do command tower as my land. I'll do. That's not bad. I like that. Hold on, buddy. One second. Oh wait, master ceremonies. You guys want to? Draw. Oh, um, the bull, the bull master's gone. I'll draw. I'm gonna go treasure this time. Yeah, I'm gonna draw. Okay. Uh, that's All right, two draw with a treasure. Two. Oh, hmm. cool. I must have hit a land that's patch because all of that should have been land. Literally, my last oh, this five is draws. Uh, section on. Okay. How much do you want for that? How much do you want for that? Okay, so there's some more value for it. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm do this. I'm do this. I feel like I need some blockers. I'll tap for five. So I'll beat it. Whatever. I'll tap for five, and then I'll do legal care for it. Mm hmm. ATVs, I'll make two. Cats, so then wait. And then oh. I'll go to combat. You got any reach over there, blah, blah, blah? I do not. Got any flying over there? No flying, no. Alright, I'll send a 3 3 in the air your way. I'll take 3. Flash out. Flash out to the middle of. Ooh, exile the cat for now. That's an intro. And then I'll go to instep and bring it back, make two more cats to that. We do. See something else you want? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna play a island for turn. Yeah, that's the, that's how we do it. We do that first or that first. I'm going to tap for six, five. Yeah. Blue, blue, one, two, three. For a uh, cryptic serpent. Um, it costs one left to cost for every instant or sorcery, which is two, so that's why it's five. I will look at the top seven and play something six or less. Oh boy. Six 
for Leth. Um, I think we're going to do a fourth of bigger. I can destroy two artifacts or enchantments. And I think we're going to pop the Aether Flux. And what's that enchantment on your field, Bum? Uh, zombies get plus one, plus one. It makes tokens when it comes out, but that don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It is just an anthem. That's not that great. Uh, he's got an Urza Saga that's on two. Your ignorance. Yeah, I'll blow the Urza Saga. Yeah, I'll do that. Swoosh. I didn't even see that there. Good, good spot. I'm going to move to combat. I am going to um, attack. Who am I going to swing at? Well, you have the most life, Sovereign, so I'm going to swing a 4-5, the Biblioplex, and on attack, I'm going to bounce the Cryptic Sovereign to my hand to make it unblockable. Okay. I will so take four. you said it's 4. Yep. Okay. Take four. And then I'm going to let's go play here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I believe it's actually less now because of that cryptic or that force yeah. of vigor. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, that's four. That's correct. Four. For cryptic, um, and then holding priority on 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 that trigger there, I'll tap one to brainstorm. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna draw three. Dirty bastard! All right, <laughs> aren't I a dirty bastard? And then I'll put three on the top. One, two. Which don't I want? One. Well, what do we want? We don't want this. We don't want this. That's good. One, two, three. These three. Oh, no, I like to put two back. Okay, cool. So these two go on top. Um, and then I'll look at the top seven. That's the right one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there anything better? But probably no. That's just, this, is, this is what we want. Um, I'm going to do a whelming wave. I'm going to return all creatures except Leviathan, octopuses, serpents, and krakens to their owner's hands. So that will bring Tyria back to my hand, but all of your other stuff goes back to their, your hands. All creatures back to their owner's hands? All creatures that are not sea creatures. Yeah. So if you do have anything that's a changeling or something, that, that would no, stay in the field, but it's all your zombies and tokens and right, right to your hand. And that uh, is it. I will. Uh, no. Yep, that, that's it. A pass turn. All right. Untap, keep, draw. I'm going to play Pillar Verge Pathway as my land for turn. Um, not making things easy here. Well, we're not playing crazy eight. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, yeah, three, four. Filter one of the white through here and use this for red. Sky car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. 
I'll pay two for Lightning Greaves mm -hmm. on cast. Get a Spirit. I will mm -hmm. attempt to equip the Greaves to Kaikar. Mm -hmm. And then, in hindsight, could have done this first. Impact Tremors. I planned out my turn wrong. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Zach, three's coming back at you in the air. Cool, cool. I will eat it. That is commander damage in case it ends up mattering, which is not likely, but still. Uh, and then I will pass. I will draw. I will lay an island. Um, so many cards. Um, we'll go. Black, blue, two colorless. Cast. Will Hilt. Sorry, I thought the wipe was banging on the floor for me. Um. One, two, one, two, three for a noxious ghoul. Um, everything gets minus one, minus one. Spirit guys. And they get plus one plus one. And that is it for my turn. I've got seven cards in hand. Pass turn. Yep. I go. I'm gonna do a ta Path of Ancestry. I'm gonna do four for Gale Pilot Mage. And then I'll pass as well. Untap. Raw. Do that now. Discard down. Yeah, I got some shit back in my hand. So I'm gonna do Masters of Ceremony. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do Masters of Ceremony and I'll do and I'll do the beach run. Okay. I guess we're going to wait for this. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. Okay, so we will tap one here for a full ring and then one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five for Curia. I'm going to Go ahead and tap two. I'm gonna into the north. I'm gonna grab a snow land and put it on the battlefield. Tap. Boom. Okay. I will actually we're gonna tap that definitely we're gonna that on tap for that tap. Ah da, da, da. move to combat. I'm a swing biblioflex kraken at 
Um, her, you have the most life. I'm gonna bounce Cryptic Serpent to make it unblockable. So four to you. Uh, pure ignorance. Yeah, pure pure ignorance. Uh, four unblockables. So four to you. Take it four. Yeah, just four unblockable at you. Yeah, so I'm taking four. My bad. I'm doing it, but um, Second main, I have five instants for four free, so I'll go ahead and tap these two to play Cryptic Sovereign again. Serpent, and look at the top seven. One, two, three, four, five. We've had too seven. many Sovereigns this game. Sovereign, Serpent, dun, dun, dun. Ooh, less, than, less than seven. Wow, okay. That is... There's some great cards, but they're all big boy. So we are, <laughs> we're just gonna ramp it growth, it looks like. <laughs> uh, that's all good. Wait, you said there. they were all big boys. They're more than seven? That's all this deck does, is it tries to cast the giantest of sea creatures and cascade it to good shit. I mean, uh, I didn't so think the sea creatures were typically more than seven. I figured that was like six and seven was where they normally sat. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot. Of, it's unfortunately there's a lot right at seven. Oh, um, right. So it has to be less than X. Yeah, it has to be less than. Yeah, if I could have, if I had some sevens in there. That would have been, that would have been nicer. Um. So that's tapped. We do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that where's my hand go? Oh, my hand's already okay. I think the play is to oh this is this is this is not great. This is not great. Um Yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is what I'll do. Um tap one for a mystical tutor. Mm. I'm gonna put something mm. off my library. What are you grabbing? I don't know. We're we're looking. No responses to the mystical. No. Okay. You can't. You counter what I. Oh, it's right at the top, right? You counter what I. Uh, Play, not what I uh makes you use more resources that way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm gonna do a temporal mastery. Not an extra turn spell. Yeah. So now That's I have one two, miracle. For two? A miracle for one and a blue? Fucking. Well, it, it, it's it's not as good because now I have eight instant for four free, so I'm gonna tap for two blue Thassus treasure for Octavia of Living Thassus, CMC of ten. Um, so I'll look at the top ten cards: one, two, three, oh four, five, God. seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm almost guarantee you we'll go ahead and take an extra turn. Yeah, these go on the bottom. So that's on the stack now that's on the stack if you want to counter extra turn that i'm tapped out we're all tapped out i don't know if um ignorance can do anything no i don't have anything for that i do not run the free counter spells unfortunately okay in that case i'll go ahead and i guess put the greaves on the crack in here and move to my next I'll respond to that. I respond to the grieves going on it. Yeah. And then I'll pass it. Pass the, the biblioplex kraken. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's a that's a bad card. So I keep bouncing my creatures and replaying them. Um I get a land, right? Yeah, you get a land. Cool, cool. Alright. That's that's all well and good. Well at least it can't go. Do the bullshit with Octavia, bounce the 
Yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna bounce Octavia and, and Caster again for two. Right. I thought you got. I thought one of you guys had a free counter in hand to counter that portion, and that's what I was waiting for. And I was like, okay, boom. And then once he takes the grieves off, uh, at least I'll, I'll put the grieves but, on on Kyria, I guess. I just I don't run free counter spells. I don't believe you. Untap. Draw. Oh, that's that's your card. That is a card. How much mana do I have? Too much. In fact, if you could like sack some of those lands, that'd be great. <laughs> Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I guess the play is this. I need oh, to stop is... giving Simic such strong bullshit. Yeah, this is this is this is a mean this is a mean thing I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't psych rift. It is, I am gonna psych rift. Fuck's sake, dude. It's okay, I have a follow up to that. It's not just a psych rift. I know, but it's. Just, you board wiped us two turns in a row now. We literally spent our turn redeploying and not doing anything, and now you've reset us again. And I'm gonna tap six here for a time spiral, so we're gonna all wheel. Oh, come on. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. All right, Kaikar goes back to the command zone. It's going to cost me eight mana to cast it again now. And I get to untap six lands. So I'll untap these six. Actually, I'll untap one, two, three, four, five, six. It was discard our hands and draw seven? Yep. Oh, discard? Fuck, I shuffled them into my library. Uh, no, you're right. It's discard and shuffle your entire graveyard. It's shuffle your whole graveyard. Into oh, it's, it's... Okay, shuffle uh, your hand in graveyard, not discard. Yeah. But so, yeah, okay, sorry. so I, I did, didn't I draw those specific cards because I didn't shuffle. Yeah, so, and I didn't either. My graveyard is back into... So I don't get the cost of this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that again, too. And I do just want to make sure, because it's the second... Um, you exiled the Bibliopex, yeah? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm going because it was path. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going back through it. I'm going to pull that up. That is correct. It should be. It should. It should be exiled. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun. Yeah. That's exiled. And that's exiled. Thank you. Be for all exiled. Six. I'm just gonna float um, a blue. Um, yeah. I'll float a white in case that uh, with the treasures that I had in case that uh, I pull something decent. This is. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the players. I'm going to play my land for turn. Three, four, five, six. I'll tap these for six. For a um, Serpent of Yawning Depths, my sea creatures cannot be blocked now. Of course they can. And I'll look at the top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll play one of these guys. What is it? It's less than six. I can't cast that. I can't cast that. I can't. Yes, I'm, I'm going to go for a Sylvan Library. Put these on the bottom. I will move to combat. And we're going to swing these two. I think I'll swing Octavia at Sovereign and Cryptic Serpent at Bump Hugs. So six to Bum, eight to Sovereign. Take six. Yep. 
and I will pass turn. Now when is the land for turn? One, two, three, four. Smothering tithe. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Anoint to procession. Um, I'm gonna... Come on, man. One song the procession. Come on, man. Someone's playing magic. Yeah, one of us. I passed the turn. Uh, Island. Oh, uh, when you drew for turn, you pay two for uh, Smothering Tyler. Do I make a treasure? Make your treasure. Oh, you also get a bird token, however. Right, I get the 2-2, two, two, or is it 2-2 two, two, or a 1-1? One, one? It's a 2-2 two, two. flying bird. I have birds. Back of a token. One, and one, two, three. Four, a Mirkwood Bats. Listen to one fuck all for me. Uh, black and one and two for a crowded crypt. Every creature you control dies, I can put a counter on it, and I can sacrifice it to make zombies for each counter that's on it. Uh, I'll tap it for black for a grave crawler. That is my turn. All right. I didn't think it'd make it back to me, man. All right. All right, I'm going to do a place return. And uh, you did exile Temporal Mastery, right? Zach? Temporal Mastery? Yeah. I'm really bad at that. Was that an exile card? Yeah, take an extra turn, exile Temporal Mastery. I did not realize that didn't go to the graveyard. Uh, no, I didn't. Exile. Uh, I can look through my library, or if I hit it, uh, it's not in my hand. If I hit it, I'll, I'll exile it. Your call. I don't care which one. Okay. We're just not going to let you play it again. That's what we're getting no, at. No, no, that, that's fair. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> did not read the card. All right, guys, see if we can get some counters out of his hand. So let's do five for Sunfall. What's that? It's an exiling board wipe. It's going to exile all creatures and then let me incubate. Sun, how do you spell it? Sunfall, S-U-N-F-A-L-L, one word. Yeah. Uh, oh. By the way, when you drew for turn, did you pay two for Smothering Tithe? Or do I make a trade? No, sir, it's all you make a trade. Yeah. I'll counter that. All right, that's two down. Uh, I'm going to pass that for that. Okay. Untap. I will draw three cards to determine if I'm going to pay for it. Um, um, yeah, because you draw them first. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know. I have to choose if I pay for it. So, <laughs> one, two... I mean, you've got a ton of mana. Yeah, yeah I'm just count I'm counting. One, two, one, two. Uh, yeah, I'll pay, I'll put a paper to him. You can create one treasure. I'm going to put uh, this card back on the top and take two, so I'll lose four life. Um, ba, ba, ba. What do we 
got going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to pay for 10 for Flynn Vada, the Rising Deep, for 8, and I'll pay the kicker, so I'll return everything but Sea Creatures and also Merfolk. Only Creatures, right? Creatures, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So bye-bye token. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I get to look at the top 8 and cast something. What happens to these guys? Uh, They go back to your, sure hand. They go to your hand. They go to your hand. Well, it's all land except a worldly tutor, so we'll go ahead and cast that worldly tutor. That makes three board wipes and an uh, extra turn. What creature do I want? You're not going to like me. I already don't. I know. I yeah, know. This deck is already starting to... Where are we going? I don't even know what game lobby I jumped into. We'll do a Skull? whole breaker for, I think it was six to eight. Yeah. To the top. And then I'll move to combat and I'll swing my three Krakens, which are unblockable. And we'll do eight at Sovereign, six at Pure Ignorance, and six at Bump Hugs. Oh, God. I go to 22. And I'll pass turn. Where do you get the Game Knights tokens? Uh, they were a Kickstarter. Oh. Hmm. Okay. One... Two, three, four. Whirlwind of Thought. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I draw a card. And one, two, three. Four. Cast. We're all storm conduit. On cast, I will draw for whirlwind of thought. He's gonna enter with four counters. Now I'm gonna plus two to scry one. So he's at six. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Uh, let's see, I've got three mana. I need four to do it. Oh, pass. Uh, untap. Uh, swamp, Markwood Bats, uh, Grave Crawler. Um, black, black, colorless. More. Uh, zombies you control get plus one, plus one. And Death Touch. Oh, hey, Willie and Boy underscore. Thanks for hitting that and follow button. Done. Thank you for the follow, William boy. Hope you have fun. More fun than we're having anyway. Um, just because I don't think it really matters. Trying to get it out on a gate. I'm going to. Maybe. 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 Six. Yeah, maybe. Top maybe. six. Let her live across the street. Wolverine Riders. Essentially, it creates a 1 1 on each upkeep. 
green elf token and whatever and elf ETBs, I gain a lot of people to its toughness. Uh, I forgot I'm going to call you when I am down south. Okay. I'm going to play layer for turn, okay. which is a trade with ruins. I have to bounce a non layer land back to hand, so I'm going to bounce my island back to hand. And then uh, I'll pass. Make okay. a 1 1 game. I'm going to draw three. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Bumplugs, did you. Did you pay for the Smothering Tithe? Nope. And your ignorance, did you pay for the Smothering Tithe? Nope, all you, brother. You know, I'm gonna pay eight life. Keep all three of these. And, and are you life. paying for any of the Smothering Tithe triggers? I'll pay for one of them and leave the so rest on top. Yep. I'm going to tap for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For Hull Breacher Horror. Look at the top seven. Ah, uh, buh, buh, buh. Not, not very good. Um, we'll go ahead and just do a into the north. Grab a land. Boom. boom. <sighs> I will move to combat. We are going to these four can sling. So let's do 16 at pure ignorance, six at bum, and six at sovereign. All unblockable. Six, six, and 19. I go to 16. Uh, da, 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 da. I will pass turn. I'm going to minus two Rawl. Copy the next instant or sorcery spell I cast this turn. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Okay. So. Back here. Red, red, blue, blue. And two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. X is eight on explosion. I'll put that towards center. So, uh, explosion deals X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards. So, for the original, I am going to target Hullbreaker Horror. And mm -hmm. I'm going to target myself to draw cards. And for the what? copy, I am going to target... Um, the uh, Slinvala, I think, the one that makes everything unblockable, right? Yep. Or is no, it the, the serpent, the, serpent, the serpent of is unblockable. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to target the serpent to you're, deal, you're, you're, and then myself yeah. again to draw cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll respond 
and I am going to. Uh, which one is targeting the hole breaker? Uh, the original. Okay. So I'm going to tap two. I'll mana drain the one targeting hole breaker, and I'm going to back uh, I will the hole breaker. I'll bounce that. Negate your mana drain. Um. Okay. I will. Who are we gonna sacrifice? We're gonna sack. We gotta. How much mana do you have left untapped over there? I am tapped out now. You are tapped out. Uh, then I'm going to tap one blue to brainstorm, and I'll bounce the gate to your hand. How the fuck do you bounce the gate? Uh, Wait, return, return target party. spell. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, oh. Was, yeah. yeah, we'll be locked out of this game. I'm gonna scoop it up here. Yeah. Guys. No, GG. we're done. It's not. It's not worth playing. We that. we can't over even over. play. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'll start the game. But GG, you got it. Thank you. you. I think I'm just done. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you, brother. Have a good one. Ah. <sighs> That was not a fun game. I don't enjoy matches like that. That was just, he had an answer for everything. Okay, well, since I'm gonna be entirely done, we're gonna raid out. I don't follow anybody who's currently playing Magic. So we're going to, we're gonna raid in too. You know what? We're gonna raid into Arya. They're playing, playing Hunt. Well, see you guys there. <laughs>